Hello and welcome to the uh, Saturday stream here. It's Saturday, March 28th, 2015. This is Seymour. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, yeah. Going to see what we're going to do this week. Not much going on as far as groups are concerned. Do have some XP stash in the bank that I'm going to go grab real quick. Oh, I should have grabbed buffs while I was up there. Did I? Yeah, it looks like my inventory is fairly clear. So there's that. all this to try to get to cap of heroic basically every little bit helps you're scrambling your way up for that oh I don't have my chat on top here there we go so welcome thanks for watching I have zero viewers at the moment, but I do uh, record these and put these up on YouTube, so if you're watching Asynchronous on YouTube, welcome. I do appreciate that. As well as subscriptions on YouTube, follows on Twitch and Twitter and all that. Uh, that reminds me of Twitter. I should check and see if the uh, automatic tweet went out like it should have. All this stuff is supposed to be automatic when you hook it up together, but not quite. It happens all the time. It doesn't look it did, so let me send out a quick tweet real quick. If I get duplicates because of that, then I will. Uh, now she becomes boorish. That's funny. Of course, DDO. Correct stuff, blah. All right, uh, streaming DDO now ish, blah blah blah. Hectic, not heroic. Awesome. Heroic rogue 18 to start with. And let's see, that's hashtag DDO and at let's see about match Twitch retweet, see if that helps at all. All right. There we go. I need to make sure this is on. SOs at work, so sometimes I get text that I need to respond to and stuff like that. Alright, we've got a veil going. They're cold, bold, dreaming, dark. Uh, no dreaming, dark. Okay. Uh, PvP. Blech. Let's go ahead and hit Meridia and then uh, we will 
there's obviously space in this group. You're welcome. Switch to party chat here. There we go. So this is my same rogue from last week. I started at, I don't know, 12-ish. I'm now 18, actually 19, banked. Looking to hit 20 in the whole epic stuff. Hopefully today I'll get that in. Need a bit of XP to make that happen. Rank 93 at the moment. Hey, Ninth Pawn, how you doing today? Now that I have faster sneaking and assassinate, it's much easier to do some of this stuff. Ah! I didn't actually hit assassinate. Having a good day so far, Ninth Pawn? Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm still kind of waking up. Um, but I did want to get on stream and hopefully get this character into epics. So. There is one other person streaming DDO at the moment. Well, at least when I started. Not sure what language it was off the top of my head. Figure it was a good time to go ahead and get on here, and get some stuff done. I haven't been playing very much uh, this past week. Last weekend, of course, with the whole <laughs> yeah, waiting for some coffee to start. That's important. I don't drink coffee, but I understand that. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, with last week's uh, XP bonus, I was on quite a bit, so I went a little bit easier this week. Played my static group. Played my Tuesday shift on DDS stream. And, uh, otherwise, popped on every day to roll my daily dice, especially now that there's double XP on daily dice this weekend. Got my gold roll in and all that. Um, otherwise, I've been doing other stuff. Haven't really wanted to burn myself out. I started getting a little bit burnt out in the past week, trying to hurry, hurry, hurry through all the XP bonus stuff. But it worked. I mean, this character shot up with everybody's help. Uh, we, our theory crafting and The gear donated last week helped a bunch. Uh, I threw some augments on. That helped a lot. So, yeah. Definitely in a better place than I was last week, all around. Looking forward to taking this uh, into epics, and of course, whenever the update comes out, the enhancement pass off to do some respecking probably, but I really haven't checked those out. I keep meaning to, but as I said, I've been not playing much, so I haven't really looked at the details or gotten on the money and looked there. I saw that uh, Cordovan previewed Temple of Elemental Evil on Wednesday, and I was around for the first part of that, and then I once they actually got in the temple, I stopped watching. I didn't want to be spoiled, so stopped watching that. Missed an assassin again. The more I think about it, the more this character I'm 
probably going to consider it a uh, my heroic reincarnator. So while I might go to 28 and get at least one epic past life, uh, maybe get my destiny set and all that, plan is to probably do heroics, which means I'm probably going to TR into a Shade Arc High and go from there. Not sure yet, but that's probably the most attractive option at this point. <sighs> and I will probably try to go pure int based rather than having this weird int dex. Well, where I was dex based and then I went try to go int based later. Let's put it that way. But we'll see how it actually works. I may end up liking it on... Uh... Yeah, I am the same way. The only thing that I really want to do on Lamania is test out on my Sorcerer whether I want two or three Paladin levels or whether I want two Paladin and two Favorite Soul levels. So I'd like to play... In it play a couple things really short, just something to test, or maybe just go against the t training dummies and then uh, reincarnate a respec into 18.2 or 17.3 and then respec again into 16.2.2 and just see what happens. See if I feel like I'm more survivable, more powerful, so on and so forth. Because I really don't want to waste a real life on that. The only thing is respec reincarnating takes forever. Wish they would speed that up on the preview server. That would be helpful. I don't know how you can speed that up, but there should be a way. Like tagging skills to always increase at every level or something, so you don't have to find them and click every time. Anything to save a few clicks and a little bit of time would be awesome. In any case, that's kind of my plan. So, other than that, I want it to count as well. That's cool. Glad you're enjoying that. Did you see the um, new four-person isometric party RPG? Uh, was it Sword Coast something? There's a preview up on YouTube I saw the other day. That looked pretty interesting. Kind of like the old style. Gold box games and such. But somehow there's a DM involved. I didn't quite understand. There's supposed to be another video coming up shortly soonish that is supposed to explain more of that. What? How did you see me? Jerk. Anyway, I saw that video yesterday, I think, or the day before, and that was kind of interesting. Yeah. It looked like it might be fun to play. I only watched part of the video, but from what I saw, it looked pretty interesting. I like the way the search worked. If you saw the way the search worked, that was pretty cool. It almost looked like in DDO, um, something like Turn Undead or Prayer or something where it had a circle around so you could see the extent to which you're searching. And you'd walk around with that on and active searching or whatever they called it. And you could see secret doors and traps and stuff that way. Yeah, it looked like you could just be one person controlling everybody or you could play four player and then 
they mentioned a DM option. And then they said the second video is going to be from the DM's point of view, I think. So you can see the difference between the players, which is the first video, and the DM is the second video. Yeah. I'm thinking that sounds pretty cool. I have to play that at some time. Nestled high above the white marble quarry, the den of obscurity sprawls deep. I think I put Pillars of Eternity on my Steam wish list. Think. I need those last few uh, things. What are they called? Explorers. Vist. Isn't the Vista over there somewhere? How do you get up there? Go back this way. So I've added, I want to say, two or three games to my Steam wish list recently, and I think Pillars of Eternity was one of them, if that's available on the wish list thing. Oh, this is, this is you have to go this way. I think this is it. Stenched, so I'm moving really slowly. Dog, you're snoring. Man, this stench lasts a long time. Hey, Bill, how's it going? That's cool. Yeah, I normally wait as well. PC games in particular seem to drop pretty quickly. And I've got way too many backed up to justify, unless I'm really actually going to dig in and play it constantly. I've only been playing a couple other games on Steam, and those basically because they're simple mouse-based. So I don't feel like bringing the key keyboard down or messing with the keyboard. I just play them. I think it's uh, Phoenix Force and Alien Planet or something like that. I don't remember. The other one was one's sort of a tower defense, and the other's just a shooter. How high is my volume? Because somebody says they're talking, and I don't hear them. Yeah, I can hear. Particularly since DDO is my primary game at the moment. I've spent a lot of money on this and a lot of time on this. So, Central Camp, Waiting Pool, Overlook, Fallen Temple. And Vista. Overlook Central Camp Waiting Pool. How's it going today, Bill? 
Let's see, it's late there, right? You'll be 14 plus, sort of. So yeah, it'd be late there. Hope you've been having a good day. Get your in-game goals complete and all that fun stuff. I'm over on my other computer just bringing up the wiki for uh, the Veil vale map because I'm really not familiar with the... Uh, um, explorers in here. So I just want to get the map up on my other machine to make it easier to see those. Oh yeah, the Fallen Temple, the Overlook, Central Camp. Okay, I need to go up to the uh, Shavarath area. That'll take care of three or four of them. And that's the waiting pool as well. So Hopefully somebody cleared out the Shavarath was going to. And then the Vista is the only other one I know that's outside of that. I know I stopped one time. I was in here on the left side, so this is probably right side stuff. Yeah, it looks up there. Central Camp's in the middle. Fallen Temple is in that. And Waiting Pool are on that uh, island by uh, Coal Chamber. I'm sneak swimming. How about that? One thing bad about the playing an assassin is the delay. By all means, keep getting me those. Monster manual things. I thoroughly enjoy those. Definitely a different play style than I'm used to. I'm used to zerging through and either right, wait right in and kill him or try to bypass. Just zerg by and hopefully they'll not mob me before they leash. I did get him. Wow. He teleported after I got him. Looks <laughs> like the rare might be there. I thought that was the overlook. Is that not the overlook? Or is it up higher? And that's what I'm missing. I need to go up again, don't I? Yep. Yeah, that's what's going on.
Can you assassinate orange names? Let's find out. Uh, crap. That didn't go very well. Thankfully they aren't doing much damage. This is the overlook. This ruined Yay. for my assassinate to retime. I'll see if I can get it to that middle bit next, and then I'll drop down to the central camp and see if I can go that way. Kind of hoping somebody else would come this way. Ah, he turned. be the best epic past life to get if I'm going to be immediately well iconic but heroic reincarnating into another rogue it's all sorts of useful stuff extra hit points and Positive energy, and armor class, double strike, and skills. I almost think skills might be the best. We are assured to get your. Uh, Sables and searchers and spots and stuff. Fallen Temple. Waiting Pool. So Central Camp and Vista are the last two. Pretty sure. And that's Central Camp right there, isn't it? Looks like it. Close to you gotta get the infernal army has used that close. Primary base of operations within the veil of twilight. So, yeah, that vista is the only one I need. Let's 
see where my other party number is up here. Should be able to put this back on. I don't see too much need for feather falling here. As an assassin rogue, I can do okay by myself. I work much better when there's somebody distracting the mob so that I can just clean up. Problem is, of course, I run very slowly when sneaking. So having somebody to uh, try to catch up to like this is not that great. And they're up there and I'm down here so that's even better. Nope, you saw me. Standing is still for more than two seconds. He must be fighting somebody. Yep. Yeah. Go back and check out the vista here. Next time we reset, see if I can figure that out. I know I've done it before, but it's been so long since I've done it. Oh, my knee. It's amazing how sitting on your butt all day is hard on your knees. That's not true. I take the dog out for walks. I walk up and down the stairs. Yeah, I think there's two hyenas, and then there's four. Do a stealth dive into the water. This is one of the first characters at this level that I've had this decent gear on. Usually I have crap gear at this level. Jerk, 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 jerk. Hmm. Air elementals are nothing but trouble.
This could be bad because there's so many air elementals and stuff here, but. <laughs> It's so much fun to do that. I couldn't resist. These are dust methods, I mean. Mint methods, I said elementals and mint methods. Which are basically lesser elementals. Let's get out of the middle of those for a minute. Heal up a little bit at least. There we go. Spread them out a bit. So I'll take all the damage at once. Get a couple of them down and we should be good. Oh, I need to go visit that uh, mysterious remnant vendor. See how many monster chunks I have and what I can get. Oh, sneak. I went into sneak too late. Darn it. Like a waste of a turret to me. There's was enough to make it worthwhile. Personal preference, I suppose. Second seems like a long time to wait sometimes between assassinates. That was rude trying to face me. and assassinate like that. This other person would just leave them alone. get them before they even know we're here most of the time. But if you insist on pulling them, then, you know, you can deal with them. Yeah. 
Where was that one from? Did that, they actually come down the ladder? Because I didn't think there were any more on this level. Yep, that's what happened. Go ahead and put on Featherfall. Hey, Mari, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Good, good, glad to hear it. They're just rats. I don't need to assassinate every one of them. I can probably just beat him to death here. Maybe. That one was tougher. Doesn't work, does it? I don't know if that doesn't work or just didn't work on him that time. Can you assassinate Earth Elementals? Assassination business. I don't know those easy answers. I mean, I've got the. Uh, I'm in precision. I've got uh, the assassins initiate leathers, so I can bypass fortification to some extent. So it's not that. I'm just wondering. Does assassinate say anything about that? Living target. So obviously it doesn't work on undead. But are elementals considered living? I don't know. I would hope living spells count as living. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, Mary. I just got this one to where it's comfortable to play. And then the Rogue Pass will come and I'll have no idea what I'm doing again. But I'm just glad to have it, this character be playable at all. It's a lot nicer being able to sit here and do that than it was struggling to kill anything like I was before.
still got one left, I'll just get him. That 12 seconds is just too long sometimes to wait. Two lions somewhere, there it is. Two lions. Three lions. I think I would probably say I would wait to TR this character if I was close to doing that until the enhancement pass for rogues, but Oh, let's recall reset time. I'm going to check on groups and see if there's anything more interesting to run. Well, actually, I just looked at my Slayer accounts. I'm really close to getting the 750s, so maybe I'll get the 750s first. Because that's decent XP. I grab the map here, and I need to find that. Vista. Okay, it looks like there's a way there. If I go... He's just shooting off the top there. Yeah, that's cool, except that I want to be... Explorer. See you, Mary. Thanks for stopping by. Respect to the fact that I'm much better against the Lamanians than the Shavarathians. It will give me my XP faster though. Oh, if he does the Lamanians, but I could probably handle killing 30. So why does it say Lamanians and then just Shavarath, not Shavarathians? Inconsistency. As the nations are fun. Just 
just gotta wait till I'm between them. Take me all day by myself to do the Shavarath side. Hey, hey. 11k for the Lamanians at 750. Yeah, I just don't remember to use potions. I keep thinking, oh yeah, I've got some Slayer potions I should be using, and I just never do it. It'd be kind of a waste with only three people in there, too. If there were six, it'd be different. Yeah, let me run to the bank real quick and get a potion, but... Because we'd be doing it at a decent enough rate that it would be worth it. It's too slow with just three. Oh, so for more Ks to go. Let's see, where am I? I am ranked 94. I have 64K, so that's 14K to get to rank 95. I attacked him before I did the assassinate. It was dumb. Should not have done it that way. Do, 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 do stuff. Man, the dog was restless uh, yesterday. It was really annoying. I really don't like how the lions are not active. Cause it makes them impossible to assassinate. When they're just sitting there like that. There was a guy up here left. There he is. See, Orthon Exterminator, it's awesome. I keep getting those little Exterminator bonus points, Hunter, and all that stuff. It's just. I love the Monster Manual for that. Extra little things. Assassinate devil. Yep. Devils are assassinatable. That's what I really enjoy about them. It's just, you know, randomly you get extra XP and it's awesome. It's just a nice little addition. Like, oh, hey. I was expecting an extra 1 or 2k or whatever it is. It's just a nice little thing. Just 
like that is a nice extra. Should be ranked 95 here shortly. Let's see. Under 90 left of the Chavarath's to go. Yeah, that's what I do. Ninth pawn, exactly what I do. I just let him come. I mean, obviously, I'd like to get all the hunters, which are. The hunters are a little bit easier to uh, go for, I think. As far as not being grindy as such, because you just have to play all the quests, basically. Kill all the different mobs and all the quests. Whereas the exterminators are just grinding the same type of mob, which by nature on some quests you do anyway. Like those epic or uh, endless king's force slayers kind of things. You know, you can get the same kind of mob there and make it easy on yourself. But I would like to get all of the hunters. And I have. One or two characters that might actually do that. The problem with the hunters is that, for example, my main character, I did a lot of the quests before Monster Manual was in. And I really don't want to redo a lot of those quests at the level I'm at. So I'd have to reincarnate and start from scratch to do those, really. I'm pretty sure all the current monster manuals were in when I started my uh, static group monk about a year ago. So, and we're doing all the quests in the game on the, in that static group, so I should be getting all the hunters that way. I hope I do anyway. And then my bard, I would like to be my favorite holder and just keep it at cap. Keep meaning to respec for uh... What? Why did I hit that Orthon? Anyway, I'm gonna respec my bard into killing one of Christo probably as I can. Might have some trouble with stats, but as far as feats and enhancements and such, I can probably do that pretty easily. Yeah, I figured that would happen. I mean, you gotta figure anything that's going to lower the time to complete something like that, people are gonna do. That's just the nature of gamers trying to be efficient with their gaming uh, and optimizing whatever they can it's not necessarily exploitive because that's part of the you know the game structure but yeah that's I mean that's like little big planet you know even in the original there was several uh, maps or whatever you call it that people created that were just for getting either a bunch of achievements or specifically one achievement. So you go through there and you get, you know, five, ten achievements if it, you hadn't played anything else. But that, you know, the number of achievements tend to be not very creative anyway. So slay so many of these things is not really a creative achievement. It's kind of lame. So I really don't, it doesn't bother me if people optimize that because the devs didn't really put much effort into creating it. You know what I mean? On the other hand, the same thing can be said for some of those really weird achievements that are like, you have to do this thing in this type of match and you know, the very specific ones. 
you have to be playing multiplayer with 16 people with you know no bots and in this mode and use this weapon and get a kill this way and do that so many times that that's just ridiculous too i used to be a big achievement hunter on the xbox 360 oh so i ran with a lot of people who did that kind of stuff figured out how to optimize getting that achievement just went and did it even if it took you know six people or 12 people several weeks of playing every night several hours they that's what they would do and i would join in on some of that because how else are you going to get it i mean some of those achievements are so out there that how else are you going to get them until i finally got burned out and sick of it so i try not to yeah that too i really really dislike date-based achievements like the um whichever one of the batman games has the calendar man achievement where you have to play the game on every holiday every u.s holiday basically or at least one hol u.s holiday a month or something like that i don't remember exactly the details but you know it's no surprise that people disconnected from the internet reset their console date boot the game reset the console date boot the game reset the console date did that 11 times went back online on a holiday to get the 12th one online to get the actual achievement it's like that's what people are going to do if you do something stupid like that. It's a neat idea in the fact that it ties to a character in the game and something like that, but it's a real pain. Real pain. I don't know if you follow uh, Stallion83, but he's got the Guinness World Record for achievements on Xbox and Xbox 360 and Xbox One. And you'll see him a lot of times just grinding out thing after thing after thing. And he's got, you know, a bunch of people who do the same thing. And they get the newest games, and that's what they do. They grind out the achievements. Doesn't matter what it is, how many times you gotta do something, they'll sit there for hours or days and do it. And you know, more power to them, because I can't do that anymore. I did it for a while and just. To a certain extent, it's like grinding, you know, experience in EDO. To a certain extent. But usually things are so much more specific than DDO, which, you know, that's what I like about DDO is. The way you get the experience. Like you can be here in Slayers, you can be doing challenges, you can be doing different quests, you can drink potions or not. There's just a bunch of different ways to get to the same end. Whereas most of the achievements are very specific on what you have to do, and you can only do that to get that achievement. So if the monster manual stuff was achievements, that's what it would be like. Maybe a lot more like that. Whereas if you use them, like you and I are saying, Ninth Pawn is just sort of bonuses, then I think it's a lot more fun. It's like, you know, that's just more fun to let it happen. And there's other reasons, like, you know, if you did want to play every quest in the game, you do it for favor, so you can get your plus five tome. It's not an achievement, it's, it's something useful in game that you're getting. And along the way, you're getting turbine points and blah, 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 you know. There's reasons other than just it being an achievement to do that stuff. You know, it, it, it was fun to a certain extent when I was doing that kind of thing. Um, a lot of it was because I was doing it with a group of people. So it's sort of like a Sort of like a guild thing, I guess. Um, although it wasn't specifically that because, you know, there's no real guilds or such on that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that that was the fun part of it was joining in a bunch of people talking and laughing and stuff. Sort of like what streaming is to a certain extent. You know, we're interacting, communicating. It's not just the gameplay. It's the social aspect of it as well. If you have that, then it's not as bad, but then again, I know there's a lot of times I was just sitting on my couch alone and grinding out 
some achievements on some stupid game like I really don't like football and I was playing the Madden football games because there were easy achievements on them and that would pump my gamer score so I did that and you know to a certain extent it was fun to spend two hours and get the all the achievements but on the other hand I really didn't enjoy doing it especially the management team management modes which are really boring I can't think of too many jobs that are more boring than that. To me personally, but other people are fascinated by that. I enjoy it. And that's what the games are meant for, I think. But yeah, I played a lot of stuff I normally wouldn't play. I played that stupid... Um, what that was that game called? My Horse and Me Too? That's what it was. Basically a little girl's horse ownership show thing game that was uh yeah really offbeat and odd and not fun at all i played the stupid miley cyrus game because it was quick and easy points mostly easy there were a couple things that weren't that fun in there Exactly. Well, that's kind of why I was talking about Stallion, because, you know, I had achieved, what, 120, 130,000 gamer score or something like that, which was respectable at the time. You know, it wasn't top, but there weren't a lot of people that, a lot of people that had that much. And, you know, Stallion had a million. He just recently got across the million mark. So, yeah. There's always going to be someone, unless you're the person at the top. And it takes a lot of dedication to be there. I admire the dedication involved in doing that, but I realized it wasn't for me. This ruined temple provides the only thing I've been top on recently is uh, the Mark of the Ninja leaderboards. I have been top, but I've been top 100. And I'm actually satisfied with that. Somewhere in the top 100 is perfect for me. And that game, of course, is solo, so there's no group aspect to it. It's just whatever you do. It's seven more. Death from above! Feather fall right into assassinate. Oh, I can't sneak while I'm feather falling? Okay, if I can sneak while I'm swimming, I should be able to sneak while I'm feather falling. That's bull. Yeah, I mean, I got to the top here and there in different games, and it just. There wasn't much there when she got there. And there were some games I really enjoyed that I just stop playing because again I had all the achievements or I had enough achievements that I was ready to move on to something else for achievements and I ended up playing a, spending a lot of time many hours in games I didn't enjoy and that I think that was the reason that finally got me to stop is like I realized wow I really don't like these games why am I playing them for the points but yeah what are the points nothing really there's no real point to them so I just got really burnt out on playing just to play playing games I didn't enjoy just to get the arbitrary points incremented so yeah I gave up on that finally I also spent so much money on games oh my god and I didn't play a lot of the games because I hadn't got to them yet but they had points so I wanted to keep them I want to buy them and keep them because I want to get the points eventually Get all those achievements, and uh, yeah. So I am not into that anymore for several reasons. I got, you know, a portion of the money back when I sold most of those games off back to GameStop or whatever. But uh, not nearly as much as I spent, of course, because that's the way that whole system works. Oh, 
I'm so close to getting the next level. There are some scorpions I can get. Well, really? I'm going to these last couple kills that I need then. Jerk. And... Boop. I'm ranked 95 now, so I only need 34 left. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I spent a summer as an arcade rat. Let me recall here. Get out of this party and take a short break. See what groups are available. Yeah, then I got my easy XP. Oh, I don't feel like going to 1500 unless I have a potion, really. Yeah, I spent a summer as an arcade rat. Um, playing... Mortal Kombat. I want to say Mortal Kombat 2. And there were three pinball machines. Whirlwind. I think there were three. I can only remember two of them. The other one, of course, was Adam's Family Pinball, which is... As you know, the best pinball machine ever invented. Such a good pinball machine. And yeah, that's what I would do for that whole summer is go to the mall, play a little more combat, play a little bit of uh, Adam's Family, occasionally one of the other machines. But they, I had a couple people in there, a couple other arcade rats that we'd pal around with, chat and talk strategy and stuff. And one guy would run the Mortal Kombat machine, and then he'd walk off, and a couple of people would start doing a versus and then he'd walk back in and of course own the versus and then continue on after there are no more challengers and run the machine again and then um play some adam's family pinball which i got good enough to actually you know, use only c kind of uh I only could spend, you know, one or two quarters and be entertained for quite a while on that machine. I got to the point where I understood how it worked and where to do all the things. And I don't remember the being in the high scoreboard. I don't remember that part, but I know I played it over and over again, and I just I absolutely adored that machine. I, I was wanting to get one of those machines for a while. And back when I was looking, they were about $1,500 or $2,500. And then I saw one that was still in the box the uh, limited version with the gold legs and the, uh, the gold accents and like um, certificate of authenticity and all that and that was like four thousand dollars but it was in Germany I think you had to export it or import it however you want to say it so it would have been a lot of money at the time and now even the normal ones that are not in that great shape or have been you know just recently shopped are four or five thousand. Oh, if I would have just done that at the time. <laughs> I own two arcade machines currently. They're both DDR machines. Um, I have owned several other machines previously. I've got a friend who has a uh, Dragon's Lair Space Ace machine. He's got the conversion so he can put the uh, marquee and joystick panel in for either. Plus the laser disc, of course, and the logic boards. So, yeah, arcade machines are fun. Um, Adam's Family Pinball is either out or coming to Pinball Arcade 2 on the PS4 and the OUYA, I presume wherever else that particular thing is, hopefully on Steam. So Adam's Family will be available. Um, I do not know off the top of my head of a mining-themed one. 
that I remember playing. There were a couple other ones. Oh, the Street Fighter one. Have you ever played the Street Fighter pinball? That was fun. Because you had a car underneath the main play field. That you got your thing and you had to smash the car with the pinball. That was fun. Um, Twilight Zone is probably second under Adam's Family Pinball. It's a very similar design machine. Um, there's a couple others I played. Um, I love, let's see, is it Comet? No. Cyclone is a circus themed one. Um, that's pretty cool. I played a lot of that. In fact, I know I knew a guy, I worked with a guy who had one who lent it to the, my, my friend who had the uh, Space Ace machine because he had a bigger basement and had room for it while he was moving or remodeling or something. I don't remember, but he had it for a while and played it. And that's a fun machine. I like that one. Yeah, I almost bought one of the newer Gauntlet games machine at some point. Rampage was fun. One of my favorite old machines was Crossbow. Um, unfortunately, that was one of those machines that got converted a lot, so there's hardly any original Crossbow machines left. Um, but that was a lot of fun when I could find that and played it. A lot of those machines you can play you know, using MAME or something anymore. Um, I've got a little mini arcade machine upstairs. It's a uh, it was a kit that I got off of Kickstarter. That you slap an, a uh, Raspberry Pi or other mini computer in. It supports a bunch of them, but I got the Pi version. It was originally made for the Pi, so I went ahead and got a Pi Pi for it. And that's a neat little machine. It can play a lot of the older stuff uh, really well. Um, there's still some glitches with it. I haven't messed with it in a while, but it's fun if you want to play something like that. And it actually has buttons on the side if you want to play pinball games. There's buttons on the side you can use for that, like the flipper buttons. Um, yeah, a friend of mine is really into the whole arcade emulation thing. He's written some drivers and this and that, and provided some dumps and all that fun stuff. He's really into emulation in general of a lot of classic machines, not just arcade machines. So I occasionally get some news out of that world. But there is something to be said for the original machines and hardware and all that. And that, that is that they're big, heavy, and expensive. Especially things like DDR machines, um, which each half of the pad, which is one person side, is, what, 200 pounds? Or is it 200 kilograms? I can't remember. No, it's 220 pounds, 100 kilograms a piece. So it's 220 pounds a piece. And then... The cabinet is about 200 kilograms or 400, 440 pounds. So altogether, you're talking 800 plus pounds, almost 900 pounds of machine, each machine. And then you have to take the marquee down, which is awkward and heavy. And then you got the main machine, which is awkward and heavy, and the pads, which are awkward and heavy. And they're a pain to move, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I moved them a little bit. I don't hope to never move them again. Uh, I want to get a uh, in the groove conversion for one of them because that would be fun or do something similarly amusing with them. I haven't done everything for Shroud, have I? Nope, I have not. Coal chamber. You know what I'm going to do first? Just go out here and try to find that stupid Vista. I really want to try this stuff on that stupid Vista. I don't need anybody in the party for that. I just want to go there and find it. I can do that while I'm talking. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy um, Pinball FX series. Pinball Arcade's okay. I don't like it as much. Uh, which is why I'm kind of disappointed that Adam's Family came to that, but really, any way I can play Adam's Family at home without having to spend a couple thousand dollars to get that machine was fine by me. 
Okay, I want to be up there. Do I need to go that way? Do I need to go this way? Oh no! The Sawagan found Hey, me. I got a follower. Who followed me? I gotta wait till it pops up on the screen here. Bad for you. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Man, I love that. I'm glad I set that up. And welcome, bad for you. Thanks for checking in and watching today. I appreciate the follow. What about this? Will this take me up there? I do want to get a pinball, preferably. Oh, the other thing I had, a arc here that I should convey before I forget, is that uh, Dis of Tron. So I vaguely remember Dis of Tron, right? It had been a while. And this is a while ago, I don't remember how long ago it was. And then we were somewhere, I don't even remember where we were, and they had a Dis of Tron machine. And I just sat there and played it and played it and played it and played it and played it. It was awesome. I loved it. And then, uh, hey, bad for you. Here we're talking arcade machines. And then um, a while later on eBay, there was an environmental version, which is the big enclosed version, not just the regular cab, stand-up cab that I had played. And I so wanted it. And it was cheap for what it was. I mean, you don't see them very often, the environmentals. And it was like, oh gosh, I don't remember how much it was. We'll say it was like $1,500. It was for an original environmental um, Distron machine. It was awesome to be priced. But it was four or five states away, local pickup only, no shipping. And where was I going to put I was living in a small apartment at the time. There's nowhere to put it. And it, I was so disappointed because it really just didn't work out. And I've never seen one again that was up for sale, especially that cheap. But yeah, that was another one I would love to have. Because one of the reasons on that one is because there's nothing else has that control scheme. I had a... What was it? A Microsoft Sidewinder, maybe? Some thing... No, I don't think it was that. It was something else that had a spinner. But something that was close to it, but nothing exactly like that particular control scheme. Because you had the joystick for movement, and then you had your throw and block buttons. And then you had your spinner. But your spinner could also go up and down. Because you had you could target the ceiling or the floor. And yeah, it was pretty unique control scheme. Nothing else was really like it. So, I really regret not having that machine, not being able to get that machine, just because of that uniqueness. Okay, so it's not here. Where the heck do you get up this stupid thing to get to the Vista so I can get my last explorer for this? Arr! This is annoying me. Ah, uh, where is it? I found this exactly once. I don't remember how I found out how to get there. Yes, yes, guys, you hit hard, you knocked me down, that's cool. Whatever. Not really worried, but it's just not my preferred fighting style with this character. My fighter would be fine. Sister, cease, C 
Fancy Serenello. Hello. Welcome. How's it going? Thanks for stopping in today. And I have a heal left, so I'll use that. Alright, so that goes up to there and then up to there, but where does it start? Why can I not find the start of that? Because it looks like it should be here. Am I missing something up here? Did I admit not take a turn? Hope you're doing well this morning. Having fun. All that fun stuff. Alright, I'm bringing the map up again over here. Actually, I'm going to get the full size version so I can see just this side. Okay, it looks like there's a path back that way, but I don't see where it is. Let's see, where am I? According to this, looks there's a path back over here somewhere, but I don't see it. Arg. Right, so anybody know how to get this last stupid explorer in Vale? I've gotten it before, so I know I've found it before. I just am not, for some reason, finding it this particular time. Do you have to jump from somewhere else and land on it? Because I'm really getting frustrated here by not being able to find it. That's what I was missing. I was dropping from somewhere else to get there. Oh, maybe that's it. You drop down there. That would make some sort of sense. Die. Die. Alright, so there's no way back up there. This is the only way to go here. If you drop down there, I uh, just hope that's the right spot. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like I should be able to go up here and get it. So that's the key, is to drop down from up there. Then you can get up here and not have a problem. I that drove the preferred people trying to find it very crazy. Trying to figure out why the heck am I not getting this last one? Where the heck is this last one? And realizing, oh, you have to climb 
up there, drop down, and then wind your way all the way back through this other stuff. Hey, Walk78, how's it going? Hope you're doing well today. Nice to see you. And it just keeps going, doesn't it? Yay. All right, I feel better. I finally got them all. Extra 3K for that. Well, 4K, really. All right, now is Cold Chamber still going? Where is Cold Chamber to get to? Coal chamber is oh okay it's the one in Shavarath I got it so let me recall join that group and then come back in because I'm pretty sure I haven't done coal chamber on this character we can check but yeah I haven't done coal chamber so. It would be good to do cold chamber. Get that out of the way. Particularly if I'm going to be heroic reincarnating. On this character, it'd be good to true reincarnating. I mean, it'd be good to have. Uh, some shroud stuff, right? Some green steel. Some mad skills item or weapon or something. Plus, they tend to be decent XP. Hey, Shuffler, how's it going? Welcome. Thanks for tuning in today. Oh. Alright, we going for an hour and a half this morning. This is uh this is good. I wanna get back over and play Shaw a bit uh Level 27 the other day. Forgot to take it. Logged on last night going, oh, wait a minute, I can get, take 27. Let's do that. Get all my uh, Necropolis gear on. And then didn't run anything. So I should have uh, no ransacks, no timers, just be ready to do whatever on there. Never know what to do when this happens. Okay, you put a LFM up. And I try to join. And it's been a minute or so. What's wrong? There's a veil, SRE, which I really hope I don't have to do to get my XP. I really want to actually do a quest, especially you know with all the first time bonuses, that might take me half the way to level, something like that. Hey, look, in the party now, yay. So now we go in Veil. What to do? Can head towards there, get some extra slayers while we're at it. Meridian, the home of an tribe. 
somebody is in the wrong area. Coal chamber was the one. That's right, I remember where it is now. Oh, hey, I still have Feather Fallen. I forgot about that. Now would be a good time to switch back to swim, though. What is my swim, anyway? Eh, only 21. That's why I'm moving so slowly. I'm really used to Shaw. Or even my Bard. Wow. Well, might get some good XP from the uh, rare encounters. Haven't got all the rares yet. Two more of those, and I get another boost. How much do you get for the all rares? Oh, yeah. The rares could take me to level. Looks like someone might have started clearing the way. And now I want to go work on that on my Raspberry Pi arcade machine. Get some more stuff set up. I was actually thinking of getting a uh, actual PC to throw in there instead, because okay, as the Pi is, it's a little, a little touchy. If the power goes out, you can corrupt your SD card, and you got to start all over. And, this, that, and the other, and the version of MAME's a little bit out of date, and blah, blah, blah. So, doing an actual PC would mean being able to keep up to date a lot easier. Mini ITX board, I believe, is what the, fits in there. Plus, then you got more power and speed, and you can run more of the newer games. More RAM and all that. A little more flexible. Stupid scorpion. You should have died. Back to my feather fall ring for this bit. All right. Not my presence. Nobody saw me. And the leader is still in the airship. All right. So again, everybody, welcome. Thanks for checking me out uh, this morning. It's still kind of early on a Saturday here in the U.S. Don't know where you're coming from, but here it's pretty early. It's all not even 10 o'clock yet. Just about, not quite. I am running my Rogue at the moment. Last week, this character was level 12. Hopefully by the day, it will be 20 or 21. Depending on how much longer I play after I get to Epic. Um, Respect it last week with the help of client side from Renowned. 
um, on Thalanus. Doing uh, basically a full set of gear, including dual weapons, which was very nice. Really appreciated that, helped a lot. And we talked about some enhancement changes and feats and such to uh, make this character more playable, and it definitely has worked out. We made changes uh, last Saturday, I believe. And I noticed that I could still keep up with trapping, but I could also contribute a lot more to the killing of stuff. So, really do appreciate that. It has helped out quite a lot. So we're just waiting for the rest of the party to get here to the coal chamber. This being one of the more annoying quests in the game. I wouldn't say it's the most annoying, but it's definitely up there in the top 10. It's very easy for the party to get separated and lost and, hey, somebody's in. Jump in and at least get the buffs here. And the map doesn't help at all because it is basically two vertical towers, kind of like the pit. And uh, yeah, it's just not not great to play through. I will assist you as you make your way. Well, Threnal, uh, the Protect Coil quest, used to be a lot more annoying um, because there was the es any escort quest really can be more annoying just because of the fail condition. Um, the pit is probably about the same level. It would be arguable as which one's more annoying. The um, what's the one here that you have to not kill the spiders? It's not running with the devils, it's the other one. Let Sleeping Dust Lie. That one is more annoying because of the fail condition. Uh, running with the devils is, can be more annoying because of the light damage alone. Um, although it's not physically wise any more annoying. Any more or less annoying, really. Uh, what else? It just depends on how you quantify the more annoying. Personally, I don't find this as annoying as other people do. Other people find it more annoying than I do. I have... Of the Veil quests, I like this better. Oh, uh, Rainbow in the Dark. Uh, Rainbow in the Dark is more annoying because you can't see anything. If you get separated from the party, you're pretty much stuck where you are. Uh, yeah, there's several things you could say are more or less annoying. And I am out of heals, that's awesome. Probably should have repaired. So, you know, that's why I'm saying it's, it's definitely up there in the list, but I wouldn't necessarily put it at the top. I ran this a bunch of times in a row, farming the uh, couple ingredients out of it, so... Because of that, I don't find it as annoying. I'm kind of familiar with it. I'm not really familiar with the build quests in general. I don't like them. But of them, this one isn't bad. It really isn't that bad. In my opinion, anyway.
I do need to get whatever the next, the first shrine is. I do need to take advantage of it. Yay, monster chunks. Are we all fl flying down? Oops, are we flying down? I can't tell. Yep, looks like we're going down. So, feather fall. Signaling the end of your descent. And I really don't like the giant hole quests. So, you know. I practically put everything in giant hold above this as well. Not that the quests themselves are horrible, but I don't really enjoy them, and I don't like wandering out in purple to get to them. So, I don't know. Hey, Iron Hands, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this morning. Thanks for stopping by. We are running that rogue from last week still, or again, I should say. Almost to 20 now. Did you have any questions, Iron Hands, the other day that I didn't answer? I forgot. I was kind of distracted. Now, oh, let me switch to that and that. There we go. Yay, I'm useful. Yeah, I was on DDS stream the other day, and I know you were on briefly, but then I had to go, and I don't remember if I finished all your questions before you had to leave, so I just want to make sure. Good. Good, good, good. Didn't want to leave you hanging. Oh, the bats. All of the bats. All of the champion bats. Alright, looks like we're good there. Now at the top of the head, I don't remember how we're supposed to go now. But at one point I had it down where I could pretty well remember where I had to go. Then I started just, uh, you know, buying stuff at the auction house instead of actually earning for it. And then I spent all my money, so... Kind of in the position to need to do this anyway. Get this stuff back. Not just because it's a new character, but. or a different character, I should say. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I. I like good, interesting beers. Um. Not too fond of pale ales in general, but I've had a couple good good ones that I've enjoyed. I have friends that are much more into beer snobbery and brewing than I am. But I do enjoy stuff now and then. Particularly the darker, heavier stuff. In general. Gotta watch the jumping here. It is very easy to hit a ledge and then be knocked off. And preferably you don't want that to happen. Did 
didn't think they could be picked, but this is the first time being in here on a rogue, so I wanted to check. I got webbed. Webbed is a strength check, isn't it? So it might be a while before I'm out of here. Especially rolling ones. Well, I roll a 19 and I'm still not out. There you go. Imperial Stout, that's more like it. That's more the stuff I enjoy. Yep. Although anymore I've been drinking, well, depends on what we do. We've got a local place here that has a growler bar that we go to. And uh, we get whatever they have, basically. We'll try stuff here and there. You get samples for quarter, growler for however much the growler is. Depending on, you know, exactly what it is, it could be more or less. Yep, milk stout's good. Love some milk stouts. Widow weave cloak. Hmm. Does that protect you from uh, webs? Hey. Otherwise, I mainly drink ciders, um, just for the gluten-free aspect. Yeah, that's cool. Old Cerlon. Red immunity would be nice, definitely, in here. Oh, that Mimic Companion is so annoying. So loud. I know they said they're going to fix it, but... Man... Yeah, I find... You can find local craft beer practically anywhere. I see a lot of people saying their particular locality has a lot of good local craft beer. Nice. That sounds good too. I really don't think I have the patience for brewing. I want my beer now. So the best all-around easily commercially available cider I found recently is Angry Orchard Sinful Apple. Unfortunately it's a little bit seasonal in that they, uh, they discontinued it for two or three months and then brought it back. So I don't like that about it, but uh, all around that's my favorite cider recently. My favorite thing to drink just casually, although I haven't really been drinking that much lately. So I haven't had much at all. That has been my overall, just anytime, anywhere favorite. Unfortunately, I haven't found it on tap anywhere yet. It's only in bottles. I have had the the regular, uh, what is it, crisp? Is the regular on tap, and that was pretty good. But Sinful is definitely my favorite. So 
That may be pretty hard. I definitely need that shrine. It's like, what, halfway through this? I can pop a potion here and there, I guess. Make sure I don't die. I just chop myself off. Yeah. I can understand that if brewing is your thing. Okay, are we going this way, that way? Where are we going? Yes, I am currently in Ohio as well. Okay, not there. This is where it starts to get fun because I lose track of where people are. Okay, somebody's here, here, here. Oh, I see they're using that to get up there. So I don't need to worry about it. If they're just taking guys out, I don't need to worry. Vandermill's just down the road. That's cool. There's the drop to the shrine. That's what I need. Definitely need that shrine. I'm in southwest. I'm definitely going to shrine here. I'm going to GH before I do this? No, alright. I should have enough to do it anyway, but... I'm always good for the GH. Oh, that's right, I'm not hitting as hard because I have some of my gear off because I have my trapping gear on. Getting some of my sneak attack bonus stuff. I still haven't figured out how to fit deadly onto this weapon or gear set either. Nice if I could fit deadly in somewhere. That would help a bit. Got all kinds of extra sneak attack damage, but extra base damage would be nice as well. What's that? Oh, Founders had a, what, breakfast out? And I found out I don't like breakfast outs, because <laughs> I don't like coffee. And uh, most of the breakfast outs I've seen are pretty much coffee-based. Just not fond of the coffee flavor. I need a Guinness just fine, but... I have problems with most others that have are truly coffee. What else have we had that we really liked? Some of the Oktoberfests are awesome. We had I can't remember whose Oktoberfest we had, but it was like seven dollars a growler and it was amazing for that price um we had uh, who did warlock i can't remember great lakes maybe did warlock that was really good i had a growler that that was expensive though it was like 17 dollars a growler yeah 
Yep, I'm pretty much on the opposite side, so I've got uh, Kentucky and Indiana. Very close, and I just made a huge mistake, didn't I? Oh. Thankfully, that was lag. Unthankfully, I then got lightning bolted, webbed, and champion batted. So that was nice. No, not really. Get off of my stone so it's easy to pick up. Thank you. You know, I don't know if I've had their own Fitzgerald. But yeah, Great Lakes has some good stuff. Yep, I am still squishy as heck. That's why I was thinking maybe I should get a green steel hit point item. Because that would help a bit, I think. And really, that answers my question as to what Epic Destiny I should take before reincarnating anything gives me hit points, is the answer. That would be the answer. These teams have some semblance of coordination. See if the huddle knows anything. Yeah, we have an awesome place to get beer around here. There's one that's right on the road, and there's one that's over in Kentucky. And they're really nice for a lot of that stuff. Yep. Evader dies. Pretty much what rogues are. I'm not gonna be sneaking. Be way too slow for that. The only problem about feather flying down here is that you get hit. Thankfully other people are taking some of these guys out. So you know that helps. I don't even remember where we're going. Are we going all the way back to the bottom? This is the point at which I get lost in this particular bit. I missed it. No, I'm here. Alright, good. Okay. Uh, I don't like rage. I got a champion out of the way. With assassinate. Yeah, you get... I have no paladins at all. I'm thinking of TRing my sorcerer into a either two or three paladin or a two paladin, two favorite soul. And then the rest sorcerer. I understand those are pretty solid builds. But not sure yet what I want to do. Oh, are we uh, jetting? Okay. Sometimes I really dislike being a rogue who walks so slowly. I've got 
striding 30% on, and I'm still going so slowly compared to all these other people. And it's funny because when you get behind, then you uh, miss when people cast the haste because you're already behind. So you never quite get there. I said at one point I had this down. It's been a while since I ran it, so the stuff I run very often is ingrained into me. The stuff I don't run very often or haven't run in a while, not so much. Do I still have feather following? Yeah, I do. Makes that part easier. Feather follows a blessing and a curse in this quest. Actually, having a low jump is nice in this quest. I'll tell you that. So much happier not bouncing off of every stupid protrusion. I feel like on my fighter with 40 jump, or whatever it is, that uh, I bounce off the ceiling a lot and then end up falling down like that right there. That one right there. Right there, right there. Yep, see? Now I'm falling and I can't. Ugh. Damn it. So Featherfall is good because you recover better that way, but it's worse because once you get going in a direction, you keep falling in that other direction, not the way you want it to go. That's why I say Featherfalling is a blessing and a curse in this one. There's some you just don't jump on. You just find the spot where you can grab the next ledge and don't jump. And then you get stuck. Also, I'm a halfling, so that might help a little bit. Mother of Pearls. Don't jump there. This is where we're going. Okay. Paleo winner. Wow, nice. Almost 1,500 hit points, that's pretty good. Oh, am I doing damage here? Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of damage. That seems like that would be a lot of fun to play something with that stats like that. down across and all the way back up. Is that how it goes? I don't remember. Or we just go back up. Oh, this is the uh, ambush, right? Yeah, keep in mind, if you haven't done this before, that this ambush is necessary. You must defeat this ambush. You can't just zerg by it because uh, you'll uh, be at the end of the quest going, why can't I complete? I think that's really dumb. I don't like that at all. This quest is annoying enough without having a required ambush to kill. But whatever. It's not that it's hard to kill, it's just annoying to kill that one more set of mobs when you should otherwise be done. Excuse me. trip them, knock them, whatever you want to do. Just get them in the state where I can sneak attack them.
Uh, now I'm stenched, so I really can't move fast. Yay! Yeah, I thought you went down on that one. But I'm just following the group in this case. Oh, there we go. Finally not stenched. Did the scorpion just open the gate? It looked like the scorpion just opened the gate. That's hilarious. Just want to make sure I get my loot so I can do a green steel blank. Nice, I didn't realize that. I just thought it was a scorpion that did it. I would like to see a real animation of that, the scorpion, with it using its stinger to open up a door. Oh, we're going this way, aren't we? I will look at that in a second. I really don't want to fall off, fall off here. I'm already behind everybody else by a bit. I'm getting a little bit of lag too, which is not fun. When you're trying to do this delicate Mario stuff. Not delicate, I may be exacting. Precision, precise, there we go. Precise Marioing. Oh my god. It's so far up here. When will it end? Somebody made it to it, the top. <sighs> I got stuck on that little ledge. Come on, get me up there. Arr. All right, I think I wanted to hear my intimate taking a paladin. Nice. Hey, I was there to help in the egg. And I rock. Chipmunk, funk, and victory. Yay. Are we doing another one or what? Rainbow in the dark. I just didn't recall for that one. Yeah. My dwarf can't either. I get stuck on stuff all the time. My dwarf. I'll do Rainbow in the Dark. That's fine. Oh. Maybe I won't. Maximum Heroic XP achieved. Oh. Yay. But if I done Rainbow, I've already done Rainbow. I'm going to say thanks all. I'm capped. This 
so I'm going to turn my quests in, and hopefully I'm flagged for Shroud. Now I think I am. If not, it's going to be a pain to get that last quest. Being over level, but oh well. And I'll be able to do shrouds, which would be awesome. Legendary victory, hello. 3,000 guild renowns, awesome. Alright. Do you talk to him first? I think you do. Nope, I didn't. I missed one. Whale crab. It's not rainbow. Eldritch device tutorial. Let me get this done. I am missing battle. Oh well. I'm not too concerned about it at the moment. Alright. Get back to town, take my levels. Get into Shadow Dancer. Oh, and we can figure out what to do next. Yeah, the self healing is where. My fighter was suffering until I got into epics and unlocked Cocoon. And I had less than half that many hit points. So it was really not fun until I got Cocoon. Didn't have the PRR, didn't have the MMR, didn't have the Intimidation. Didn't have the hit points. Could do some decent damage, but that's about it. Couldn't heal for crap by myself. So, yeah. Just a different kind of thing. If we had, you know, real rolls anymore, that'd be different. And if the tanks were still used, that'd be different. But they really aren't used that much. Maybe in some high-end raids, but generally speaking, I haven't really seen them used that much. Show me the rogue trainer. I think he's over here, isn't he? No, that's sorcerer. There's the rogue. Advance to level. Skill points, yay! See, I, I don't know what it is with my cleric. Maybe we can go fix my cleric build. Maybe that's the next thing we should do. Because my cleric is not fun to play. And it sucks because clerics are my favorite class in every role-playing game I've ever played. I love my clerics. But for some reason in DDO, I'm not having fun with my cleric at all. So I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the build. But, uh, yeah, it's just not as fun as I was really hoping it would be. So we've got max, maxed, maxed. So many things maxed. Rogue is ridiculous with the skill points. I 
Yeah, that's what I'm considering doing with my uh, sorcerer is go blade forged. At least for two lives. Maybe three. Well, I've got bluff started. I might as well go with bluff. So we've got the choice of defensive roll, skill mastery, or slippery mind. I really think skill mastery at this point. The next level where I get Yeah, I I don't feel like I do any damage as a cleric. I take a lot of damage as a cleric. Um, I can heal, but being a heal bot it really isn't fun playing. So when I quest with the SO, the SO is a barbarian, so all I'm doing is healing the healing the barbarian all the time. So I'm really mostly dex, but intelligence would be helpful, but I'm going to go ahead and go dex, because that's really where most of my stuff is at the moment. If I redo this character, uh, TR it, it's going to go probably pure int. Oh, I'll be so glad to not have to do this anymore. Oh, that's what I like about other, other classes that don't have any skill points. It's a lot less annoying to level. If you only got two skill points, boom, boom, you're done. It's not as big of a deal. My UMD is so low. It's ridiculously low. But that's because my charisma is so low. Nine hit points. Yay! Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. I, I'm really upset at my cleric for not being fun to play. Because it should be. So we're going to go in Shadow Dancer. Get away from this stupid thing. I need to go back to the ship anyway. I forgot to sell, didn't I? Yeah. Sell and stash that augment. What augment did I get? Protection plus five, not bad. That could be useful. Not as useful as uh, sheltering, but I don't find a use for that. And I don't want to be outside the airship because that's annoying. With all the wind noise. Alright. Let's go ahead and look at my enhancements and see what the final couple I'm going to take are going to be. Oh. You know, some people s swear by the cleric builds that they have, and I just don't, I don't see them, I don't understand what they're doing or how they're doing it or something, because I haven't really... Oh, you know what? I, here's I, Iron Hands. I don't remember if it was you or somebody else who was asking me what I skipped when I went and redid the mechanic tree. Skill boost is what I skipped. I had all three rings of that, so that was six points right there that I uh, had dedicated to skill boost. And at the moment, with my open lock being 44... Search is 58, spot is 53, and disable device is 43. I'm not doing bad. So I don't know if the 6 plus 6 is worth it. I don't know. Do I have plus 15s yet? I've got plus 13s. I can swap two. I got a plus 10 there and a plus 13 there, so... If I get plus 15s, then I should be okay for the moment. Let's 
See, I can get awareness there and boost it up that way. I don't know. I got eight points, which is going to be tight for anything I do. What's my weapon at? 1.3, 1d10, plus 19, which isn't great. What is my melee power? Let's see, that's down here somewhere. I've got four melee power. I want to get that. Okay, one more point spent to get that. Nothing is useful for me at the moment. So what I'll probably do is that. That gets me. Oh, I can get a stat here. That could even out my intelligence that way. Hmm. That would cost two points. So let's see what else I can get to. Almost double my melee power right there. And I need 10 points for that, so really that would work out, and then I get a couple more melee power. Hmm. Yeah, I don't plan on running Epic Elite, so. So what I figure is I'll take this up to cap. Depending on where I'm at with Epic Destinies, I might get another Epic Destiny or two, stay at Cat for a little bit. But then I really want to go back to Heroic with this character. Get either more hit points or more skills or some useful Epic Past Life bit. Get the Rogue Heroic Past Life, go back, come back as a Shade Archai, um, just to skip those early levels. And uh, see what I can do from there. Hopefully that will work. I'll lose some of the self-healing, and I'll lose some of the extra snake attack dice and the leeches thing, but I think it'll be better overall. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that extra end point. Two hit and damage versus evil. That's tempting, too. I'll take the melee power and let's see, melee power, range power, and universal spell power versus plus two to hit and damage versus evil implied universal spell power. I'll take that. That may not be optimal, but that's what makes sense to me to take. I'm at 350 hit points now, so I'm definitely better off. Um, yeah, and that last week... I added, for, since last Saturday, I added some augments. So my Skullduggery kit now is Diamond of Wisdom. Uh, let's see, that doesn't have anything, that doesn't have anything. Doesn't have anything. That already had the Topaz of Power. Dream Visor now has Blindness Immunity. Assassin Initiates Lizards now has Heavy Fortification. I still have Empty Colorless in my Ring of Shadows. I put a diamond strength in my golden greaves just because I wanted something in there and I had a diamond sitting around. For that, I put fear immunity on the backstabber's gloves. So yeah. Probably not with this character. I'm probably going to just get a couple things. I don't know. We'll see. I would like to have some character in doing heroic TR. So right now I've got Shaw who's doing epic reincarnations. Var, who is doing the epic cap, capped epic uh, destiny thing. I've got my bard that just made it to epic, who needs to get some levels and probably will stay at cap. So probably we'll do the whole epic destiny grind thing for that and just stay there at cap. And I've got this character, which is just now epic, and I want to at least get up to cap once um, 
but other than that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I really have no idea what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm, I'm thinking Hero TR is the way to go, or Iconics actually, because I like I think the epics give you more, and I really enjoy questing in epics more in general than heroics. So you've got that going on. But I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I've got my. Uh... Let's see. Sell all that stuff, dump that in the bank. And then I figure I might go hero completionist with the character. I don't know. I really just have no idea. Obviously, you know, you, you think about it like, well, that life, that past life would help, and that past life would help, you know. Everybody can use bar three barbarian past lives, right? Because that gets you the uh, hit points. So why would I not do that to get the extra hit points? But is that really what I want to do? I don't know. So I have this now, so I can replace one of these with a sacrificial dagger. Yeah, buy it to me permanently. And then I have the other dagger somewhere. Let's see. Twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-one. Where is that other dagger? Maybe I have it on a different character. Or maybe it's in my inventory. I didn't see it. Whatever that level 21 dagger is, I have that around here somewhere as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So now that Barbarian is up there again, evidently if you build it right, it's pretty well unstoppable. So I run my three rogue lives, go to Barbarian, get the extra hit points. You know, there you go. Extra hit points on whatever else you do. And then you got the rogue levels for what do you get trap saves, I think. So yeah, it's... And then once you start that down that path, well, then obviously I need the healing amp. And obviously I need, you know, positive spell power. And obviously I need everything else. So you fall into that trap once you start it. Which, you know... I don't know if I'm ever going to need spell points, but so there's some past lives for that that may not be as useful. But at that point, if you've already done nine, why not do the rest of them? And then who knows what, what Warlock's going to bring and maybe have something helpful for everybody. And yeah, we'll see. Or maybe this will I'll just do two rogue and then whatever else I'm doing. Maybe that's going to be my build on this character. Just always do two rogue and then something else. So I can always handle traps to some extent. So yeah, there's choices. I'll have to figure that out. There it is, Blade of the High Priestess. That's what I was trying to figure out. I've got that once I get... Uh, 21. Yeah, and then there's just the fact that you can do Blade Forge Paladins, which would be, you know, as I understand it, a, almost an easy button. <laughs> so, yeah, there's options on what to do next. Let's see if I can figure out. Wow, just power play, nothing else. Really? There's no. The little epic groups going. Nobody's no epic groups are going at all. Wow. So there's the other problem I have now. Got no low level epics going on. I'm gonna switch over to well actually let me go over to my cleric real quick. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna embed myself promo in the stream real quick. Just so that when I get to uh it gets to 
hello YouTube it'll have it in there uh, where is my cleric there it is so my clerics at level 16 at the moment and I did redo the my page for the DDO stream schedule so I have all the additional the Tuesday Polish group the two new Thursday groups which I watched some of new game plus uh, Thursday and that was amusing I must say all right so where the heck am I am in the Hall of Heroes that makes sense because I was doing all the mimic stuff hey while I'm here let's check out the mysterious remedy collector I have not actually looked at the, his items yet. I know he has limited edition items this weekend, so. Oh, we've got the Eternal Flasks back. I did not realize that. So here's a Mysterious Cloak. 7, 14, and 21. So let's look at 14. Stacking, healing amp. Insightful MMR. God. And then, yeah, slots. So that's nice, I must say. And the bracers are the same way. So you have two different slots you could do that on. And you can upgrade your cloak. What a waste of monster chunks that would be. So I need to consolidate my monster chunks and see what I have. I don't care about the crowns of fire. I don't really care about the junk at all, but flasks would be nice, I must say. The cloaks or bracers, those slots are, oh, man. Those slots are used for other stuff. I guess I could take my adamantine cloak off of Shaw and use one of those at 21. I think my bracers are already spoken for. Yeah, they are, so I don't want to do that. Huh. So anyway, this is my cleric. Um, level 16. Looks like I'm probably banking 17. But I have to stay in lockstep with the SO or else it causes issues. Got a 57 armor class, of course. Hardly any dodge. Uh, let's see. I don't have any double strike. Do I have no double strike? I have no melee power. I've got almost 200 positive spell power, which is decent. Got some resists going. Got some MRR and PRR. Mostly probably because of what I'm wearing. Let's get that out of the way. No, I don't like that. I like that. There we go. Running around with whatever I could find, basically, to slot in this stuff. I don't have... all the named gear, but I've got some. Like, see, I just, from the mimic event, I just got these cloaks of night, so why would I want to replace my cloak slot? And then, typically, in my bracer slot is uh, the challenge stuff for the permanent blur. So, yeah. I do have level 15 fire break that I'm wearing. I must say, once I got that, that helped a lot. I also have a wall of wood. Again, that helped a lot once I got that. I've got my healing amp there. So that definitely helped getting those. Um, I got a cove ring. What's this ring? Charisma and lightning resistance. Okay. Gloves are my fortification. I have boots for my hit points. I could probably replace those with something a little bit better. And I've got a mace. Eh. Out of ammo for soaking up damage. I have been wearing cloak, a resistance, cold resistance cloak, because my saves, especially reflex, are pretty abysmal. So yeah, 
that's what I've got. Um, as far as enhancements go, I have one point remaining. Hmm. This is where I'm at. I've got the saves, boosts, and wisdom. Got some extra hit points. I probably should just take that and get the extra PRR. Yes, I need the Guardian ring. You are correct. I definitely need that ring. That ring is awesome. Um, what did I get so far? All right, Sacred Touch, which is nice. I got up here. I got Sanctuary. Huh. Permanent blur on that. Uh, so I'm mostly Radiant Savant. Servant, Radiant Servant. Sorry. I've got that. It's my main thing. And I went all the way up to getting Cure Focus and Positive Energy Aura. Got the Wisdom there. Don't have Reactive Heal, but is that really worth it? Hardly any Divine Disciple. I just got that for the energy spell power and the maximum spell points. Because, of course, that's always handy. And I could dip into Harper Agent, I guess. But that's really all I've got. Harper Agent didn't, didn't exist when I did this last, so. Yeah, that's what I've got. I'm thinking the PRR is the best thing to get here. If I can't do damage, at least I can avoid it. Yeah, it is. I was hoping it'd be better. So we've got Magical Training, Mental Toughness, Improve Mental Toughness, Quicken, Maximize, Power Healing, Extend, blah, blah, blah. I just sort of want to start over <laughs> or tear this into a cleric slash paladin or something. Maybe just a paladin. I don't know. I love the look, though. I must say, I, I really do enjoy the look of the firebreak armor. The wall of wood's kind of meh, but the armor is awesome. And the mace, is, the mace effect is okay. But yeah, I don't really want to play this right now. I'll check and see if there's any groups, but I don't think there are. Yeah. All right. Even if there were, again, this is a kind of like a static group character. So. Ooh, yeah, just sent me an email. I cast. I don't want to ugh, rent games like that. Yeah, from what I understand, the only way to get turning to work is to almost like being a pale master and getting your um, ne necro DCs up. You have to dedicate like everything to it if you're going to do it. Which really is not a good idea in the other half of the content you run. <laughs> You're rocking the end end content, and then the other content, you're kind of, eh. So, yeah. I'm going to take a short break here. Um, need to buy a refresh my drink. Maybe, yeah, it's about lunchtime. Grab some quick lunch. Should be more than maybe 10, 15 minutes at the max. Um, but I do want to get a walk around a bit, too, and maybe walk the dog. He's being good, but inevitably I'll be in the middle of a quest chain and at a boss, and he'll be wanting to walk, so I'll take him out before then. So there's no issues that way. So yeah, um, appreciate everybody watching. I will be back shortly. Appreciate you hanging around if you do. If you have to go, you know, no problem. I understand life calls and such. But... Uh, you know, you should take a break every couple hours anyway. That's the recommended medical advice for uh, not being a 
complete disaster health wise so I am going to take that walk a little bit and uh, blah 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 in the meantime I'm going to put some info up about Shaw just in case anybody's curious I do have that link where you can also see this stuff but ah enhancements and then epic destinies and then character and then inventory and there we go and my break sign I put my break sign up where is that there it is all right so yeah thanks for hanging around and uh, i will be back shortly figure 10 15 minutes and we'll be good Oh no, the Sawagan found me!
Hello, I am back. Ooh. Hey Slacker, how's it going? So yeah, I was having fajitas, which are really kind of a mute and two hands kind of foods. I couldn't really do much while I was eating that. Take the break sign off. And uh, maybe I'll join this devil assault, because that's really easy. How are you doing this morning, Slacker? Hope your morning's going well so far. Have a good day and all that. Good, good. Glad to hear it. Uh, I want to do this to go teleporter, I think. I'm really not one for messing food most of the time, but when I find a place that does good fajitas, that's that's the thing I do. I don't like tomatoes, I don't like onions, don't like cheese that much, particularly when it's melted and all that. Um, yeah. But when you got uh, chicken and beef and pork, shrimp, green peppers, add in some spicy habanero sauce and some pepper, oh yeah. Wrap it in some corn tortillas, that's some good stuff. A little bit messy, but good. So... Yeah, so far this morning we've uh, gotten the rogue to level 20 and into epic, which is awesome. And uh, just thought I'd pop over here on Shaw and try to get some XP grinding through. Level 27 needs to be 28. I want to get rid of this hairstyle. I hate this hairstyle. I just, I'm not normally one for really caring much. I just do whatever red long hair and I'm, I'm good. But I just don't like this one at all. At all. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to Epic Reincarnating and getting rid of that hairstyle. Looks like we're waiting on the party leader to start here. So, what's been going on in your gameplay, Slacker? Anything interesting? Hold on a second, I yell at the dog. Oh, and this time when they, when they prepared my uh, fajitas, this place is awesome. It's a local place right down the street. And they pretty much know me there. I always get a large Dos Equis draft. And uh, they actually serve the Dos Equis Amber, not the lager. I like the Amber much better. They have a, was it, 34 ounce mug? chilled mug. Oh, goes perfectly with it. Anyway, they bring out the feed as usual. And this place is not one of those places that has a bed of onions and then like one piece of meat. This is one of those places where they've got it all, a bunch of everything mixed together. It's mostly meat, really. Um, they put a little bit too much onion this time, but that happens. Uh, lots of green peppers, though. And the chorizo was actually a big piece on top of everything. Instead of usually it's mixed in, which is nice, but it's kind of hard to be pick it out of the rest of it. This was a nice big piece. Almost looked like Geta. It's awesome. So I can still eat. I still have a couple things that did come the tortillas. I can eat those with my fork and not have to go two-handed. I'll do that here while I'm muted off and on. I got a wizard to 20. Yeah, I don't understand wizard spell point management. Because I see wizards with 
half as many spell points as my sorcerer. But they seem to be doing well with it. I just don't understand how they manage their mana, or sorry, spell points to do that. I just don't understand. I've got a Pale Master that I've started that I haven't played. I've rolled, I should say. Rolled up, I haven't started yet. but So I, I want to try to figure that out at some point, but I, I agree with you. I don't know how they do that. Because I would imagine they'd run out really quickly. Even on my Sorcerer, just doing like Walls of Fire ran out really quickly. So I can't imagine a wizard with half as many spell points. It would be in any better shape. But I guess that's why they focus on the uh, Necro spells and not so much the fire. Yeah, I can see doing that. That makes sense. But of course, you know, when I think about it, it took me a while to figure out my sorcerer, too. So, it was a matter of rolling it up, playing it for a while, not really being happy with it, fussing with it here and there. And then uh, looking up another build and looking at it again and trying to figure out, and finally getting, oh, this is how you're supposed to play a sorcerer. Okay, now I get it. And then, of course, getting to epic, and then nothing dies to my spells on epic, so. Got that other problem. Yeah, wizard gets a lot of spells, don't they? Plus, you get SLAs, I think, too. The trick to sorcerer is, of course, just use the SLAs, primarily, and then you can use those forever, pretty much, since they're so cheap. Well, we know Ranger is next, I think, on the list, after Rogue, and of course Warlock. Maybe after that. I'm not sure. I know they were talking about Still needing the third tree on a couple classes and some other stuff. Yeah, it's interesting, I really hadn't played a rogue, so even when I read through the changes initially, I was like, okay, I don't really understand what the play difference is going to be on this stuff. Now that I have a rogue, that I just got to epic levels, I have a build that I'm happy with, of course, now it's time to get, almost time to get uh, an enhancement passport, so now it changes everything up, hopefully for the better, but we'll see. I'm going to go back and look at that stuff now that I understand some of the abilities better. And this is a quest you do not want to be late to, because you get locked out quick. Excuse me. Hey, Rothko, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Doing well. Wow, buffs.
Stormreach guards huddle at their barricades. The stench of brimstone permeates the air. Guttural chanting echoes from beyond the door ahead. Everybody hurrying in. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We've got everybody but the person that just joined, so we should be good. As long as you don't trigger that door, should be good. Once you do, you gotta rush in, though. Hey, look, the guard is champion. How about that? That's always hilarious. Enchant, not deadly. What? That's weird. <clears throat> yeah, on the walk I did with the dog just a minute ago. Uh, oh, I twisted my knee again. So it's a little sore. <sighs> it's getting annoying. I don't know what's wrong with it. Right there is it now, in a couple minutes, in a half hour, come on. I like the look of the elemental forms, I think they're pretty cool. Hey Abel, how's it going? Just getting ready to start Devil Assault on EH here. Obviously, we're getting more XP than this because of the optionals, which aren't really optional. I never quite understood the optionals that weren't optional, but, you know, they exist. Just waiting for that sixth person that just joined right as we were almost ready to start. And they're in. Of black I'm getting the hell in. Flanking this room. Cradled in their bands, whirl the infernal portals of the Shabarak. They better run quick. Oh, they made it. Okay. The portals of Shabarak. Man, it's so easy when there's crowd control. So very easy. We've got so much healing going on. <laughs> Way too much. So amusing. I usually solo this on normal, so being in a group on hard is just a big difference. This quest is just relaxing most of the time. It's like, oh, let's just relax, wait for the next wave. Alright, let's kill the wave. Which consists of just standing here and swinging, basically, for this first couple. There's really nothing to it. Yeah. 
I'm behind in the kill count. That's annoying. Usually these first couple waves I just cleave through everything and I jump ahead pretty quick. Just got to the second wave, so... yeah. Such good XP for just a relaxing, easy quest. A full party that's prepared, knows what to do. It's a cakewalk in here. Welcome back, Iron Hands. Took a little bit longer that lunch break than I anticipated, but I am back now. At some point, I think I'm going to make one of those uh, shuriken throwers. I don't know which particular build, but those just look like a lot of fun. Just sitting there throwing stuff at everything, and it dies. All those effects on them and stuff. Just seems like a lot of fun. seem to be anything you can do to speed up the waves except just kill them all faster. Because when you solo, you, you can understand that the first ones you kill, the first ones to pop up next time. So they look like they're timed based on the, their deaths. One of the reasons on the later waves you kill the casters first. One is of course because they're casters, and it's always good to kill casters first, but then you've got the whole, well, if they spawn by themselves, it's so much easier to deal with them.
Devil's Ebbs, a leader of Shadow, steps through the portal to engage him. The leader of Shabaran has fallen. You feel the battle may allow you a moment's rest and time to loot the bodies. Now we have two minutes till next wave. See, I think I think it's just the sixty from the iron mitts. I don't think there's any other healing amp that I have. I'm trying to remember. Let's see. Well, I've got a heal of 29. You can't directly see that anywhere, right? So. I don't think I have enhancements that do healing amp. I don't have the stacking healing amp. So it's not there. Fighter doesn't have any. Dwarf doesn't have any. Oh, there it is. It's 110. Where from, I'm not sure. Would really like to be able to see the exactly where it comes from, not just oh it's 110, that's that's awesome. Yep. Did I put that on my page that for my character, I don't even remember if I got the hit point one or not. Come here, you. Oh, I missed the stunning blow. Yeah, that's so much easier than doing it solo. Not that it's hard solo, it's just it takes longer to get through all the guys and hit them. So let me check out my page, which is no longer up. Hmm. Well... No, that's not the one I want. There it is. Oh, I guess I didn't take that screenshot. I'm gonna have to check in a second. I'm just about to check, but then the next wave started, so. Or phase of the wave, or however you want to say it. I do have it on there. So if you click on the hit points on the character sheet part, part of that page that I just did, uh, you can see that my healing camp is in there. So it's the same as that. You can insta kill him. I'm not gonna run over there this time. I'm tired of running over there just in time to be for the guy to be killed by the time I get there. My stubby like dwarf. I've seen a couple four-digit numbers, that's cool. 
I just made it with HTML. I am thinking of creating a framework for people to do that themselves. Um, <clears throat> and if you want me to show you how I made it, or if you want to try to you just want to save the page and try to figure it out yourself to do it, feel free. Um, it really starts with a whole lot of screenshots. So you need something like 100 different screenshots to do it all, because you want a screenshot of all the hovers and all of your gear and all that stuff. And I think I'm going to go ahead and make the tabs so you can see feats and um, crafting and all that. Yeah. I wanted someone to be able to point to when people ask me about my character, I could just throw it out there real quick and say, here. And then it looks like the game and it shows all the stuff, even if I don't have, like, the epidestinies and the enhancements don't have the hovers. Just the inventory and the character sheet have the hovers. But, you know, that still helps. People get an idea of what I have and what I carry and all that stuff. And then I just listed everything out underneath it. Not only what I'm wearing, but my swaps and other stuff. Um, just to help get an idea of my character. Oh, my knee. Excel can be valuable. Um, and it's a lot easier to deal with in post. I wanted something... If you were playing back when Mighty Dio existed, I wanted something more like that. Not that it was perfect, but I liked it quite a bit for just being able to see the character stuff, and of course your timers, that was the other big thing it was good for. Um, what is that character wearing and what other timers at right now? Stupid thing. Everybody really needs to stay in, like on top of each other when he does this, so we can hit him consistently just by turning around or cleaving. And then, you know, LSD37 is working on online character generator that might be able to do something similar. Make it easier to share the URL builds and such. This character is loosely based on a build, uh, a Kensai build from before the enhancement pass. And then once the enhanced past happened and I went back and respect, I redid it. And then as I leveled up, I decided I needed more survivability, ability, so I went to Monk instead of just staying Kensai. And then every time I have a green card, I change it just a little bit. But yeah, it works for me. and waiting for the next wave. Thank <laughs> you. 
you. Slid right by me. Six scrolls of shield destroyed, you jerk. Did I forget to get arrows? I might have forgotten to get arrows. Which is annoying, I need to remember to do that. Let's see. Yep, I forgot to get arrows. How about that? Well, I've got bolts, so let's just use these bolts that I've got. I don't really need scrolls of shield anyway, I've got this. It serves the same basic purpose. Avoidance of magic missiles, and I've got the night shield clicky on my armor too. That's how I like to take out casters. Stun them and then kill them in three shots. If I can't one shot them, three isn't bad. I need to make sure I go look at my monster chunks and see how many I have, because an eternal flask of, uh, let's say death ward might be handy. Or just all the eternal flasks. Not that I have the monster chunks for that, but, you know, I, when they said they had the new uh, bracers and cloak that they were had been talking about out, I didn't realize they also brought out the... Uh, brought back the uh, eternal fast so I will definitely be wanting to get those even if it's only one at a time for a while or where it makes the most sense to get it on which character and stuff but who really who can't take advantage of eternal flask of death ward my cleric, basically. Can I say those are upgradable? So probably got two or three more hours of playtime today before the SO gets off work and comes home. We figure dinner out and all that. Spend some time with them. Get up off the couch and do some other stuff maybe. But in the meantime, I should be here for the next couple hours. I'm just over a million away from get, capping at 28 again. So I might switch over to my sorcerer at some point. Might try my bard. No. I think I've had enough of my rogue for the moment. I love my rogue. I've, I've come to enjoy it greatly, but meh.
The assault has been quelled for now. Loot time. He actually got through with his poison or disease or whatever the heck it was. Isn't that precious? Isn't that just precious? I think we're good. So that was successful and uneventful and So I made up my kills, and I had over a quarter of the kills. I led the kill count. Usually, I said, like I said, I get out to a quick start. Didn't happen quite that way this time. Guess consistency made up for it. It always takes about a half hour to run, unfortunately. Yeah, let's see. What else is going on? Do I get that stuff in the bag? Welcome back to Ninth Pawn. Again, no groups today. Today's is just a slow day. I guess since last... <clears throat> excuse me a second. There we go. I guess since last weekend was a bonus weekend... The heroic XP bonus the weekend before that was epic, wasn't it? Then uh, people were playing a lot more, and now we're kind of like, ah, there's no good bonus, just daily dice, which means you can pop in for two minutes and be done. Not a big deal. A lot of people are running this weekend. Which is no problem for this character, because I can solo stuff, so I guess I'll go do that. Not really that big of a deal. I might go to the store today. I'm out of sodas. Not that I drink real sodas, but these uh, store branded, no calories, no sugar, no caffeine things that I've been having. Pretty, pretty well enjoying them. They're like flavored water, flavored carbonated water, basically. Um, they have aspartame instead of sugar. So if you don't like that really sickly sweet aspartame flavor, I wouldn't recommend them. But Otherwise, you know, they're not bad. Uh, I'm 27, I got my gear on. Epic Hard should be easy enough. Haven't quite made the transition to Epic Elite soloing. Maybe once I'm Epic Completionist I can do that, but... Just not quite there where that's comfortable for me. I know some people do that, even at lower levels. Just haven't quite got the hang of it. I like cutting through the mobs a lot quicker and easier. Oh, that's right, I've got my ethereal bracers on, so I float. Don't have to worry about switching my ring, I just float. Which actually can be a bad thing when you're trying to speed through these things. It sounded like that rat hit another rat or something, because it didn't hit me. It missed. But it had the noise as if it hit something. Oh, that's right, I got guards or something. That'll be what's hitting them. I'm hitting them passively. Uh, I don't care about evading and heavy armor, that's why I'm wearing heavy armor, so I don't have to worry about evasion. Because I got reduction, resistance, whatever you want to call it. It's 
so this will be the ninth life for this character. Yeah, because I'll get the third power over life and death. So then I will be on to... Ew. I'll be on to Arcane Spear. That's probably going to suck. Well, thankfully, the, the first one's going to be refilling Divine, so I can stay in the Divine. I don't feel like missing these guys. I'm just going to kill them. Sometimes they can dance around them, sometimes they can't. I end up killing them half the time anyway, so just get the killing done. Not bother with it. Why is there still green? Yay, I got a scroll of something. Krosnik's Cruelty. See, here's another place where my dwarven legs just don't go. It's a simple stairway. Shouldn't be a big deal. Yet somehow it is. Summon Kratos. Oh my god, there's auto-attack. I'm clicking him how many times so I have to click him before you will auto-attack. Sometimes auto-attack just does not want to work, I don't know why. It's weird. Not that I'm in really any danger from him, I just want to get it over with faster. That's the thing about rogues that I still am not used to, is that you have to face the box when you disable the trap. You can't start disabling and then look away. You can open chests and look away, you can open levers and such and look away, and it's fine. But disabling trap boxes is not. Doesn't make much sense. A bit of combat lag there. As you open the valve, the muffled sound of gears tone can be heard from the water below. Your pursuit has led you out of Tanner's Alley and into a quieter, more prosperous neighborhood. Watchdogs dream peacefully in the sunshine below. If you're careful, you can catch up to moderate metal and Oh, I forgot to hit alt. I just hit one. See, there's where I've been playing a rogue, where sneak is on one. And I was like, oh yeah, that's sneak. Forgetting that I'm on my fighter, and one is cleave. Alt one is sneak. I use sneak too much as a rogue not to have it mapped to a primary button. Oh, at some point I'll probably redo some of these. Scroll the Noxious Fang. As if I needed any more scrolls, which I'm pretty sure I don't. Seals and shards, where it's at. I need to be doing more damage than I'm doing to really do epic elite and have more PR and more than I do. Can be heard in the next courtyard. It's time to deal with him once and for all. 
Which, you know, if I was going to stay capped at any length of time, I might consider redoing, but so I've been doing the upper incarnation grind thing. That's what I've been concentrating on. What well, helps me from 20 to 26, maybe? That's where it's really at. 26 to 28 is not a big deal. Are you activated yet? Come on, I want to kill you. There we go. He always runs that first thing. So very annoying. Do I look like I'm trying to evade heavy armor? Because I'm not. I'm really not. Fingers crossed, let's see what happens. Nope. Antique great X piece that I need was not there again. Alright, now we got some stuff going. Eager House City, Shadow Road Eden, House D E. Oh man, I cannot even begin to concentrate on those. That's the other thing about some of that stuff. I don't like doing because it it's out there. It's difficult. It's not difficult. I won't say difficult because it really isn't difficult. It's annoying. As if you were transported into the now see, their auto tag worked just fine. As with anything built by house I don't know what the deal is. Actually, remember my stones again this time. Is open. I just don't care to run around in the purple area for very long. And some of those quests are a long way away from the entrance. I don't remember which one's which, and I end up having to look at a map, get lost, and all that junk. And it's just, you know what? I'll just run the stuff I know. It's closer and easier. Even to a certain extent, the high road stuff, the King's Forest stuff. It's not that it's that difficult, it's just I don't want to spend that much time walking in a Slayer area. Get to the quest, get out. Get the quest, finish it, get my XP, get my loot, get out. Not walk for 10 minutes. And then if you're not with the group when they start, then you have to find your own way. By the time you're done, they're done. Yeah. Not the most fun thing in the world. I am, however, getting sleepy. I might have to see if I have something with some sugar or something to keep me going. And now I've got some of that uh, splash of lemon water. That's nice stuff. It's not caffeinated or anything. But it is nicer than just straight water. Kind of feels like we lemonade. The illusionary ones have disappeared, as well as the barrier. Unlike the previous room, this place feels like it's that scorpion. You jerk, don't disappear on me. In order to get at the mark. The destruction of this scorpion has also extinguished the mark of shadow. The illusionary barrier is gone. There are way too many breakables in here to worry about it, really. Collectibles, however, 
You get a lot of them just on your normal path through here. Be nice if sometime I get the giant to do his thing where he doesn't, uh... Well, doesn't really entertain me for one. You know what, you're being so annoying. I'm just gonna take you out. Normally I get all the symbols and stuff, but... I'm pretty confident my DPS is more than adequate for just getting rid of this dude. He's just being annoying, and I don't want to deal with him. There we go. Thought so. The mark's enough, or he's enough to take out, normally. Just sometimes he gets on your butt and doesn't let up. So if you have the DPS to take him down, it's easier to do that. In the group, it's easier usually to send somebody out to each of the marks and take them out while you occupy the giant. If your DPS have a task, great. If not, then once they're done with their marks, they'll come back and help you out anyway. It works out fine. I've been in too many years where I've been the one doing the marks. No one else will do that. You sort of run around going, oh, what do I do? But you still need to enter the come on, guys. Gals, peoples. Get with it. I wonder my anniversary is for my VIP. I don't remember what week that sale was, where you got the three months free for being VIP. I got that, so I'm getting, should be getting the free points every month. That'll buy some more inventory space and bags and stuff. It'll be good. If it were to activate, you would not be able to destroy it as you did with the marks in the illusion area. And welcome. Thanks for watching. The Chapter House Theater normally hosts stage plays for Fialan's elite patrons. It looks like its shows are on hold during the Grand Gala. What? I bounced off of it? I barely touched it. There we go. Lag right as you're jumping. Always a good time. Never a good time. Never. After this, I might see if I can scare up a group for some spies and whiz king. Nope, never. I've got all the shared bank space. I didn't get the latest uh, bag deposit box space, so I'm missing 250 slots of that. But I've got the 500 and whatever, so. Which is at the moment plenty for me. I haven't seen the need to go above that. But I definitely could use more inventory space and bank space. This one's maxed out on inventory space and bank space, I believe. And it's got the biggest you finally reach of the, the green and red bags. Now, I think it's got the green and add Cyan's name. biggest purple bag, too. I don't remember. The party guest here seems like a harmless old elf. But that facade does not fool you. Uh, Bart has the biggest everything. Cookie jar and hireling contract folder and all that. Because that's my bank character. All the bank space, all the inventory space, the biggest bags. Because before they had bag deposit box, you just had one character with a big bag that you passed all your stuff through the shared bank to. That was the way to do it. Oh, Cyan, you take so long to walk. 
Why do you take so long to walk so yet? It really isn't that hard. Oh. Yeah, I need to. Maybe I'll have one of the mochi. That'll be good. Got some green tea mochi. That might hit the spot. We had a bag of the weird flavor Tootsie Rolls, so they were like fruit flavors and such. That was weird. I like the lemon and lime ones, though. Those are pretty good. Not much for candy, though. Most of the time. Now, cheesecake, however. That's a different story. I don't even know why I like cheesecake, because I shouldn't. I don't like cheese that much. But for some reason, cheesecake, a good one with caramel and a little bit of fruit flavor. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. I mean, there's a guy my friend knows that he that's what he does. He ba he does cheesecakes. And he does some really w weird combinations because he just wants to try them all and see what happens. So he'll put some weird fruits together fruit and something else together. I don't I can't remember the examples. But there's some really off the wall ones. I think they had a mango in something one that sounded awesome. I really like mango. I get mango orange juice. Or orange juice with mango or however you want to say it. Which I'm out of. So yeah I might go to the store later. Pick up some stuff. More bananas and some orange juice. Such like And my sodas. Hey, Huey Games. Awesome. Well, any questions, let us know. Um, I know we've got people in chat with a whole bunch of experience. Um, myself, I've been playing for a couple years. I've got some experience on some different things. Glad to help you out. Just need to know what you need to know. Hey, bad for you. Welcome back. Oh, I love when he comes out, except when he dances me. He's being a jerk, isn't he? He's being a real jerk. <sighs> dancing me, and then dancing me, and then for flavor, he's going to dance me again, probably. Just for fun. Got him. And he still danced me. Awesome. These stupid casters down, so I don't have to worry about them dancing me. There should be another one somewhere. There he is. Alright, let's finish this off now. Sit in, everybody. So, Hooey, Hooey Games, was it? Um, what server are you on? Have you started a character? And all that stuff, or where are you at in the game? Let's start there, and we can work our way up. Yeah. That uh, quest demonstrates my lack of will save right there. I was danced, what, three or four times? And uh, there were only four casters in the whole battle there. And I did what I was supposed to do. I went after the guy I was supposed to go after first. As soon as he popped, he was right in my face. But unfortunately, he then danced me, and everybody else came and said, Hey, look, you're vulnerable. Annoying. Not that I didn't handle it, of course. It's just annoying that that happens. Where are they at? They're at Blacklock. I'm going to do Blacklock. So. Hmm. Let me look at my stats here. My drop frames are pretty low, so I don't think it's me. That's cool. 
Orion or Orion, depending on how you want to say it. I say Orion, other people say Orion. Um, we'll see when we get back bad for you. Yeah, Rogue and Paladin. So as I understand it, Paladins are really good right now, really easy to play, in that uh, they're very powerful, have good saves, do good damage, um, have good defenses, all that fun stuff. So that's a great choice. Rogues can be tricky. I'll say that right up front because they're really gear dependent, particularly for their um, the rogue skills. Search, spot, disable device, open lock. You really need to have good gear to support those. So it's possible to play, but just make sure that, that you understand that uh, if you're playing Heroic Elite, then you have some expectations from other people in the party if you're playing with a pickup group or public group or however you want to say it. Um, I've gotten some hate from people before because my rogue couldn't do all the... See you, Rothko. Couldn't do all the traps immediately because it was a first life rogue with not good gear, and uh, that caused some issues. Got really annoyed by that. So yeah, and as Iron Hand says, very squishy. That's another problem they have. They have evasion, which is awesome, and uh, you know there's some good points to them. If you depending on what you build, it can be very fun to play. There's a couple different ways to build them. Um, I just rebuilt the rogue I was playing earlier. Um, based on some feedback last week in this channel. We were hanging out and having some great discussions about building a rogue and some possibilities and such, and it turned out really well. But uh, yeah, it took some work, and uh, I probably would still build it differently if I built it again. Yeah, uh, you're gonna want to definitely group up as a rogue. Paladin, you can probably get through on your own. Um, rogue, eh, it's going to be party dependent. Pretty much, because a rogue really does really good damage to one mob at a time. And as you saw earlier, when I was in the other quest, it's really easy to get mobbed by a bunch. It's... I'm... Um, won't... Well, say it's not a fun class to play, I love my rogue, it's fun to play, but I, it's really party dependent, it is not a solo, or um, especially a first life without gear, you're going to have problems soloing. Now the good news is that uh, you have the option of range, as Iron Hands is saying, which is good, go really high int and do the crossbows and do that if you want to do ranged. That's an option that is probably a little more survivable. Um, but if you're going to do the assassin like I was doing, you're going to be in close using daggers and uh, yeah, first life gear is not great. Last week I got it, somebody donated me some gear and it helped oh so much on my rogue. So much better having the right gear. So I'm not saying not to play, but definitely if you can find a good guild to join, um, one that's active when you play, so that you can uh, have people to group with there and people that play at your level. So either they like playing heroics like some people do, or they can constantly TR and are always have somebody in heroics because they're just TRing. Whatever it may be, but you want to find a guild that suits your play style and time zone. Uh, that's the most important things as far as narrowing down guilds. Other than that, you know, you want one with a nice ship and with nice people. But um, I have a guild that has really nice people in it. Love playing with them. They're all not in my time zone. <laughs> Actually, one is in my time zone, besides my significant other. 
there's one other player in, in my time zone. So we really, and they're not even on very much. So I really have a hard time playing just guild. Um, the other thing you can do is find out how to get on your server's uh, user channel. Most servers that I'm aware of have a user channel that's the same name as the server. It may or may not be password protected. And if you get in there, that usually is a place where people post uh, when they're looking, where they're starting up groups and want more people to join, and you can ask for help and such. Right now, I would say Arti Artificer, Arti Artificer, sorry. The way it's supposed to be turned, I think it's Artificer. Artificer, something like that. Arty, anyway, is a really good solo class that can trap. Um, at early heroic levels, it is amazing. You're doing range damage, you've got your pet that can take off some aggro for you. Once you hit the flame turret, it's really good for uh, soloing, bringing a group of mobs together, dropping a flame turret, letting it take the aggro. There's lots of ways to play in Arty that make a lot of sense for a soloer. Um, but that is a premium class, I believe, so um, if you're not VIP or if you haven't bought the class or unlocked it for your favor, which is somewhat difficult with that particular class. They said Orion or Orion, bad for you. Um, I would also recommend at this point Barbarian. Barbarian uh, just got an enhancement pass so that they can, they have constant self-healing which built correctly means that you really don't have to worry about your health. You'll get all sorts of temporary hit points and healing that'll keep you uh, going. Uh, what else? I'm on Thalanus personally. There's a couple streamers that are on Thalanus, but there's representatives from most of the servers on here. I really wouldn't recommend Wayfinder just because its population is really low. And uh, it'd be hard to find group, even harder to find groups because of that. But any other servers are just fine, as far as I'm aware. There isn't really anything. Some servers may have more power gamers. Some servers may have more role players or something. But you'll find a mix of it in each on every server, as well as I, as well as I understand it. Um, but yeah. You can do Barbarian. I wouldn't recommend Fighter because there's no self-heals. I wouldn't recommend Cleric because there's, they don't do as much damage. Um, Wizard can be tricky to manage your spell points. So I really wouldn't recommend that. Once I figured out how to play Sorcerer, Sorcerer I think is fairly easy if you want to play a caster. You just got to realize you're going to be specializing in one or two different um, elements and you want to rely on your SLAs, your spell-like abilities, and not your regular spells. Um, that's a class that isn't too difficult to play, although it is going to benefit from other people to, to tank for you. Um, but it can pretty much nuke everything and it's got the spell points to last an entire dungeon without worrying about having to refill most of the time. And plus you got all the buffs there as well, so it, it can be good. Uh, Monk, if you can get that, that's also a premium class, but oh, it's a blast to play, and it's perfect solar. There's a build on the forums called uh, the Heroic Challenge Farmer by LSD37 that I followed and on my Thursday Night Static Group character, and that is an amazingly fun character to play. It is a blast. Love that monk. You're going to be short on gear, of course, at first, but it still holds its own. You can use store-bought gear or auction house-bought gear or found gear and still do really well with it. Um, you won't have favored soul yet, probably. And I haven't played favored soul yet either. Warforged, yes. If you do the Ghostbusters, you go Warforged. Well, well, there you go. There are some options.
As I say, I love my guild. They're very friendly and supportive, and I love playing with them. There's just a few of them in the first place, and then they're not in my time zone, so they're on at different times of day, so I don't really see them a lot. We have a regular Thursday night group that we play in, and that's about it. During the week, or even the weekends, there'll be one or two people on, maybe, when I'm on. That's about it. So it's kind of frustrating, but I haven't really looked at moving guilds because I do like it so much I'm used to. It. I'm used to the airship layout. Even though we don't have everything, we got enough. Yeah, DDO is an older MMO, so there's going to be some differences from the newer ones. Um, a lot of people enjoy DDO for a couple reasons. One is the flexibility of the character creation. You can do so many things with your character, and you can go so many different ways with it. It's not just that you're a rogue. It's that you're a halfling rogue with this and that. You've dipped in the harper tree, and you've done this, and taken these enhancements or that ones, and these speeds or that ones. and It's a lot of, a lot of robust and variety in the character creation process. And then the quests are generally quests. They are not fetch, fetch me three of these or ten of these or a hundred of those, generally. They're really you know, scripted, storyline, dungeon crawling sort of things. Or roof climbing or running or... There's you know, some variation. There are a couple you know, escorts and keep alives and protects and other stuff. But for the most part, they are all this sort of, you know, dungeon sprawling, exploration, story scripted thing. There's a lot to like about the way they've done quests in here. Um, they're really any more in DDO aren't assigned roles. Everybody's expected to do some damage, have some defense, and have some healing. Oh no! Hey, found me. I got a new follower. You heard Lars Hayton there saying the Swagen found him again, like he does every time you run that quest. I'm waiting for the pop up on my other window so I can see who it was. And it's Huey Games. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'd say, you know, play on your own for a bit, do the Korthos quests, and see what's going on, see how you like it, and then, you know, if you can get a Korthos group, fine, but don't worry about it if you can't. Just, you know, explore those first couple quests and see what they're like. That Korthos storyline, I think, is a great introduction to the game. And, uh... Once you get through that and get to the other side of Korthos and get to town and all that, it opens up a lot more and you can worry more about grouping and finding a guild and all that stuff because you really don't need that for that first bit in Korthos. It really comes into play later. That was funny. Popped him on the head and acid bursted at the same time. Yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff in this game. There are a lot, there's lots of content, although I end up running the same couple things most of the time. There is lots of content. There's a good amount of free-to-play content, and then if you decide to go VIP or start buying packs, there's a bunch of stuff there to choose from. It's kind of overwhelming to have to choose if you're buying packs. Um, and of course there's store sales and stuff, so you can wait store points and wait till there's bonus points to get points and then wait till there's a sale on your content you want to use it, make your points go longer. There's awesome holiday sales if you want to get the expansions, they'll be really cheap. Usually during the holidays. Um, all sorts of fun stuff. 
And there's some challenges to go through and raids to play. Things to flag for and farming to do. Why, yes, I am sort of zerging. How nice of you to notice. Oh, hey, Slacker, that's a good idea. I did not. There is the DDO cast podcast that can show you some stuff, introduce you to the game. There is a series of YouTube videos that I saw on the forums that somebody did. Is welcome to DDO. Here's the interface. Here's the, some things you need to look for and all that. Um, of course, there's this, the DDO stream channel. We have content on there. I'm part of the community stream team that streams on the DDO stream official channel. We've got some content on there that, you know, can help with basics and introductions and stuff. Wow, four negative levels. That's pretty ridiculous for one hit of whatever that was. And, um, of course, the forums and the wiki. If you don't know about DDO wiki, bookmark it right now. You're going to be referring to it a lot in all probability. That was pretty slow for me. I'm going to do tide turns next, I believe. And we'll see about getting a group together for spies and uh, stuff. Yeah, I actually own... Oh, hey, Vaughn 5. Crap. I want to do Vaughn 5. All right, Huey Games, thanks for following and watching, and uh, see you soon, hopefully. Hope you enjoy playing. Yeah, I have everything except uh, the newest Delirium pack that I bought. But because I've been playing so much and all that, I decided to go ahead and do the VIP with that 15 month for the price of 12. So 15 months for 100 bucks, I couldn't pass it. Even though I own most of the packs and most of the, well, both expansions that I paid full price for and so on and so forth, it was still seemed worth it for VIP because I've been playing so much. I was kind of hesitant to do that before because I have a habit of stopping playing games, play them intensely for a while and then stopping. And uh, so I we don't, that trap is still active. <laughs> didn't uh, feel like... You're okay to do the traps, B? That was going to be a good thing, but you know, perfect anymore. It don't matter. I've been playing so much now. I've been playing for I over a year now. Hiking spots, no one else can do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I certainly understand not doing that, not doing VIP and just buying everything. I do understand that. Yes, that is like the best thing, one of the best things about VIP is that you don't have to run everything three times, because that's annoying. Oh, I gotta run on normal, and I gotta run on hard, and then I gotta run on elite. Now I have my favor. Meanwhile, you're not getting the first time, or bravery bonuses. Sorry, bravery bonuses. And, uh, yeah. I still need to do some more favor running on this character, and I hadn't been doing it because, as you say, you have to do the normal and hard before you do the elite, and I'm like, why would I want to do that? I don't understand why I want to do that. I mean, yes, if it's something I don't really know and need to learn, but I just want to get the favor. That's awesome. It's nice that people give you the stuff you want. Like that. I have a hard time getting people to do that for me. I tend to have to get it myself. 
even if I say I want that, they're like, oh, I'm not sure what it is. I don't want to buy the wrong thing. I'm telling you exactly what it is. Get this for me. Well, no. So, it's much nicer than people get it for you. I have spent a lot of money on this game, I'll tell you that. Plus you have to realize that I'm buying for two accounts when I buy stuff too. Because I... VSO's account and mine are... All D. All me. Ab, welcome. Hi. I'm doing ring voice, Mookie's doing... Stuff. Hey, D. Hi. Oh, that would be awesome, Iron Hands. That would be awesome. I don't have a group, and I really don't think I would play if I, even if I did. I just am not interested in that anymore. I used to be. I used to love it. But anymore, meh. Okay, you guys ready on the right? Can you get two of them there? One of you? I got it. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, the left side! I assumed, Mac, were you getting ranged? No? Huh? Oh, nice. Okay, Mac, you got ranged? Yes, no, Fab, ranged? Yep. One of you? Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Had to concentrate there for a second, sorry. So yeah, that would be awesome, play original yeah, first edition. There, I'll wait at Bluff or and all that. Uh, all right, sounds like a lot right? of fun. Left. Just, uh... Yeah. See, we have a stack of board games that uh, we have yet to play, let alone a role-playing game. So, I really don't think we'd do that, but it does sound like a lot of fun. Thanks. Just not something I'm really... Oh, please! really into as much as I was. Of course, I was mostly into Shadowrun anyway. I started with Merp, and then I went to 2nd oh, oh, Edition D&D, &D, and then I went to Shadowrun. Thank you. And Shadowrun is still where my fondness lies. I love the whole technology magic mix and all that cyberpunky stuff, so... Unfortunately, I'm really upset at the Shadowrun MMO. I kickstarted that for a lot of money, thinking that I was going to be playing that a lot, and so far from what I've seen, I'm so not impressed. It's really, really disappointing, because I really love Shadowrun. And even the um, PC games that they've... Well, they, all, they did also for tablets and stuff, but... The Shadowrun Returns games they've done recently, I was disappointed in. They were okay, but not nearly what I was hoping for. Yeah, anymore I'm playing this or some mindless mouse only game just to sort of veg to. Or I've been playing some on the PS4. There's some good games there. I've been liking Mark of the Ninja. Yep, Platinum Dock Wagon. Yeah, I don't even want to say how much money I spent on that Shadowrun MMO that 
they put it up and oh, two years later, by the way, people were thinking that this was an MMO, not like we were going to make, so we're going to change the name to something else, like Shadowrun, was it Shadowrun Chronicles they changed it to? Something jump, something junky. It's like, wait a minute, two years after the Kickstarter ended, now you're saying, well, maybe MMO isn't the right word. So I'm not really fond of that bit. But yeah, dock wagon contracts. Hmm. Move by wire systems. All sorts of fun stuff. I'm, when I think about it, I think I played Shadowrun the most and with the most people. So that's probably another reason why I enjoyed it. Played some first edition, second edition, and I think third edition Shadowrun. I haven't done fourth edition. It's up to fourth edition now, isn't it? Or fifth? I don't know. I don't remember. I still have my rule book that was signed by somebody or other. I don't even remember who signed it. It was during the Dunkles on campaign. Where they had the Dunkles on for president posters at the game shows and stuff. Some friends of mine went to Gen Con, I believe. And brought that back for me. And I still have my deities and demigods with the squids, which I got at a garage sale for like 10 cents or something ridiculous. I played a little bit of Vampire Masquerade and I thought it was an interesting system. But the people who were playing it, I didn't care for at the time. So I didn't play a lot of it. But a little bit of that. Uh, I played some um, Hero System. That was interesting. Uh, played some GURPS. That was interesting. What else did I play? Someone have to pop strength. Okay. I'll go down and get my chest done. Car Wars was fun. Please. Which they just brought out a new mini version of that, which is awesome. Oh, someone got the top. I already dropped down. Fuck <laughs> it. Yeah, what else did I play? Yeah, I don't remember what else I played. I know I played some other stuff, but it escapes me now. And then magic happened. Did someone get the top? All that. I, 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 I got it. Okay. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Thanks, D. <clears throat> no problem. Someone's on the ball. Huh? <laughs> Just leaving this crap. Any? Oh, never mind. The sickie's on the ball, <laughs> eh? That's not good. <laughs> yeah, anymore. Just, the, uh, I don't know. I think it's the time commitment that doesn't appeal to me anymore about role playing games. Like you really need to have a party and <laughs> yeah, I've done some LARPing. Um, that can be fun too. As much as it is easy to make fun of people who do that, it, it is also a lot of fun if you do it. We had a uh, local group that went to a park over Halloween, I think, and we overnighted out in the woods and played all night LARPing and that was a good time. Exhausting, but it was a good time. Had a lot of fun doing that. Don't think I'd do that now, probably. Well. I know there's different LARP systems too, it's not just like one thing. I think we did Myth, which I don't even know if it exists anymore, which seemed to be pretty nice from what I could tell. Um, I only did it once or twice, I think. It was kind of basic, but interesting. Some of the rules were a little strange, but I understood kind of why they had them. 
The door. The door, the door, the door. The door. To the one of the door, the door, the door. What didn't we do? Come to the puzzle and help you out. Probably missed the door too, won't I? Yep, I missed the door. How about that? Isn't that awesome? Uh, Hope someone took the coffer, because I didn't. Yeah, I don't. Uh... I gotta go talk to the face. You guys are responsible for Let the fucking... <laughs> it's alright, I'm, I'm on my way to the coffer. Hold on. Holy moly... Crying out loud. Two guys go into the puzzle, and ten guys go into the coffer, and one of you can't grab it? Come on! Chuck, you're just really lazy today, aren't you? The coffer's actually... I never crazy. grab the coffer when I run this. I said, one of you have to grab the coffer. You guys heard me. The uh, coffer I'm sitting there trying to... I'm sitting there trying to beat off in a corner, Chuck, and you're interrupting me, okay? You need to work on that a little bit. <laughs> You're gonna make me load up wiki for this puzzle, aren't ya? <laughs> I'll throw down a D door. I'll throw down a D door. D just that guy. Let down. me get the two. Let me get the two chests here first. Yeah, I don't really care for Renaissance festivals. I've been to a couple, right. not very many, but a couple, and I really didn't. I used to be an SCA, and compared to a Renaissance festival. SCA events are mm, just confirmation. I do have conference. more interesting to me. <laughs> we'll put it that way. I used to do archery in SCA, and I really really enjoyed. That. I still have my bow and arrows, and some accessories, but I really don't have anywhere to shoot that I know of. I used to oh. on timer. And I haven't really looked into SCA around here or anything since I moved. It just hasn't been a thing. I used to like SCA though, that was fun. Give me five. Hey Titan, what's up? Last time I went to an SCA festival, I spent pretty much the entire time watching glass blowing. That right Black on the tile trying to turn you, fucker. <laughs> Uh, I swear that was me. Someone else was playing. You hear a low there you had it. A few more turns. <laughs> <It> clips. <laughs> All right, I gotta go put the thing in the mouse there. Just a minute. That's cool. That's a little weird. I have a recurve. <laughs> Believe it or not, I get just as excited. It is serious branded. <laughs> Very authentic for SCA. Um, actually, it was just a cheap oh, thing I found on. Actually, the classified ads before Craigslist, I think it was. Uh, no, I still have to talk to the guy. Somebody was just selling it nearby, and it was cheap. And I was like, you know what? I want a bow. I really oh, yeah, want to get a Black Widow. One of the uh, ones you can break down the ends and all that. Oh, those are so nice, but expensive. But seeing as I don't shoot hardly at all anymore, I haven't shot my bow in probably over 10 years. I don't see it's worth the expense. The door. I have shot a, a Black Widow before and oh my god. Such a nice, nice, nice bow. I'm still playing with the rusty bow. Hey guys, don't forget the key. Did I hold your hand enough there? <laughs> hey. <laughs> ah, get up there. Think of the bomb, you. Let's see what else. I need a new string if I was gonna. Yeah, I need a new string if I was gonna shoot my bow because it's been quite a while since I shot it. Well, it's a matter of finding a place to shoot it because I don't. I project. Usually live in the uh, <laughs> in the burbs of a city, and there's not really too much 
in the way of opportunities to shoot your bow without somebody calling somebody. Um, and I only know of one range in a nearby state that's actually way out of the way, but um, I don't really know where any other ranges for the I know sometimes you can get like Bass Pro Shops and stuff have a really crappy little range shoved in their big box store sometimes right but like our it's mostly a uh, compound very little traditional three curve or long neither one One more down. The equipment vibrates with harnessed power. Ready on top. And That's cool. Top. Three, two, one, pull. See, if I were to go back to an SCA or something, maybe it'd be easier to find places because usually they're in the know about where to find that stuff. Yeah, we've got Cabela's and Bass Pro and Field and Stream. Such like. I probably could practice my backyard, but it requires getting hay or something. One guy had a uh, recycled rubber bales that he used, which is pretty cool. Right. He's still up there. Pull the lever. Wow, what are you doing? that's cool. What are you talking about? The lever's been pulled. Second one. Out the bottom one. The important one. The ladder didn't uh, no. drop. Nobody pulled the second one? Or the first one? Oh, hold on. You guys are right on the ball today, aren't you? Yeah, I don't know if I looked My around God. here or not. I thought I did at one point and didn't <laughs> see anything, but... I'm sure if I went to... the right places, I could find that. I've been to shooting ranges here for yeah, firearms, but not the for bows. Ramp there. Go around up the ramp. Up the ramp. Yeah, we have a place here that has a... Uh, Zombie shooting range for firearms, which is yeah. pretty neat. Top of the ramp, we got a, a, like a Hogan's Alley zombie thing, which is pretty cool. You walk around and zombies pop up and you shoot them. It uses that uh, half power simunition stuff, but it was the top of the ramp. Was the it was pretty ramp. fun. Walk around shooting zombies. Use one up, up. Then I guess there we go. Nowadays. I was in a small town in the middle of nowhere, and they had just right in the downtown area, which is, you know, oh, the lever there five buildings in a strip, but behind the back one of the buildings yeah, upstairs in the attic was an archery range. It was pretty neat. Used to go there uh, once a week or so when I was a member. When I was in SCA and all that. It was fun. Just regular bullseye targets, nothing special. And they had all the Robin Hoods on the wall, on the wall. All that fun stuff. Wow. That's neat. That is really neat. Really simulating the whole hunting thing. All the different animals. Yeah, I mostly just done paper targets. Bullseyes. Still fun. But man, if you haven't shot for a while and you go out shooting, just don't plan on doing anything the next day. Let me let me just say that. Because, wow, those muscles in your shoulders that you never use, yeah. They get a workout. You really don't feel it at the time, but the next day, whew, you 
cannot move. That doesn't seem like a good idea to fire your pistol with another bullet jammed in it. Yeah, I'd rather, much rather stick to swords and bows than uh, firearms. I have a decent katana. And occasionally we get together, my Three, friends and I, and two, cut stuff with them. Two, twenty, six, eight, ninety one. Ooh, nice level. Oh, I got two twenty three. You beat me. <laughs> I'm collecting uh, tokens if anybody doesn't need theirs, please. Yeah, I've pretty much been in the burbs. Elite. Oh, thank you. Put very some frags in there for, for you, Deanna. Yeah, thank Elite. Thank you. Next one. Thank you. Yeah, I really wasn't I'm in the going country. To air. If we can get a D to R and air, it'd be appreciated. The rest of you go wherever. Make sure there's three on each base, please. Where do you need me No, that? we went really nice cheap door. and ghetto, the ice, they only see one on ice right and now. we use right. milk Mine's jugs, two liter bottles, and that sort of thing. <laughs> Fill them with water, and they make an acceptable stand-in. Just get into air now. We, I have cut mats, I think, once. Um, Somebody brought pool noodles once to cut, um, but yeah, I think I've, I think somebody brought mats yeah, once. It's water. just that they're kind of more oh, expensive problem. than anything they're else. Down the rest right of stuff is just you know, everybody has some sort of plastic in their life. People here. So it's easy to there we go. just See, use those. This shit, how easy it is. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Dog, what are you doing? I just took you out like an hour ago. Fireball to the face. So yeah, we normally just use stuff like that. And it works just fine. It's fun, gives you the cutting experience, especially the softer plastic of the milk jugs. Um, sometimes you can get a couple cuts okay, off of one. Done singing. God knows we wouldn't defeat the dragon. Be careful the music. Gotta be careful some of the other stuff that's harder. Twinkle, twinkle, little a more star. Difficult. Yeah, I I only played a couple hundred dollars for mine. Um, by I can't remember who I got. Chines maybe. That sounds right. There's a couple places that deal in uh, real usable swords, not just decorative. And uh, I got mine from one of them. I don't remember which one off the top of my head. And it's. It's good, I like it. I wouldn't really want anything more expensive. Um, I was in Japan at the sword shop. So if you go to Tokyo, stop by Japan Sword. It's awesome. Yes, the costs are amazing. Um, and in fact, some of them you can't even take out of the country. You can buy them, but they're... I did that last time. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's do this artifacts time. or what they, I can't remember what they call them. Never done it. National never treasures. Did it before, so I'm like, what the hell happens on his tail? I'm like, ooh, permanent fire curse oh. at three, four hundred a pop. X, oh, you loser. No, it wasn't. And uh, yeah, eventually, upstairs, they, they were all these talk. beautiful display yeah. cases, and you know, it was really cool to see. But then, yeah, they took me upstairs fun. into the museum room. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. They had, like, full, like, samurai camp and set up with all the armor so Everyone stuff. kept healing yeah. me while I was getting the chest, and then I finished out. <laughs> yeah, and I died. And they had all the, uh, I don't remember the word for it, the, the toppers of the samurai helmets. They had a wall full of those. And they had a 14-foot katana that was supposedly used to cut 
the legs off of horses out from under people. And no. just a whole bunch of really cool no, stuff. No. They had bows and just okay. cool stuff. It was a blast. Thank you. Climate controlled room with it like Probably bank vault door. It was just amazing. I highly recommend oh, that experience yeah. if you're able to do it. I gave you one to G. Oh, thank you guys. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. G, you want this red scale? Sure, thanks. Yeah. Take my comms here. So, yeah, there's some fun stuff to be said about blades and bows. Keep getting emails, thinking there's something else. All right, so we've done that. That was a good bit of XP. Oh, and look, it's my kind of group. Couple Von Threes, couple uh, Spies, couple Whiz Kings. This is exactly what I like to do. Ouch. I must have missed. They must already be in. Yes, they are. So, yeah. Italy? That's cool. I have some friends who are just coming back from Paris today-ish, I believe. I have not been to Europe. My parents have been to Europe. Um, it's a friend that have been to Europe, but I have not been to Europe at all. I've been to Canada, Mexico, Japan, Australia, and New Zealand. And I think that's it. And of course, a bunch of islands in the Caribbean that I couldn't really tell you the whole list. I really want to go back to Japan. Wouldn't mind getting to China. Some of the other stuff over there. I want to get to Europe at some point. Just in time for some XP for an optional. Oh. Yeah, I had a lot of fun in Australia and New Zealand, except for being sick. Um, if you do something like that, do not do... Do not get there the way I got there. Let's put it that way. It was a 16-hour flight to Japan, an hour or two bus ride in from the airport to the city, to be picked up at a hotel, take to my parents' place, crash for the night, get it up early the next morning, go back to the airport a couple hours fly to, I don't remember where, Australia, and then have a ridiculously long, like, 8 or 12 hour layover, then fly to New Zealand, and then rent a car and go into the uh, Christchurch to get to the hotel room and then die for two days, because I was out of it by that point. I was done. After that, it wasn't bad. We drove around New Zealand for a while, went back to Australia for a while, and uh, had some fun. That was a good time. I did indeed enjoy that. I like to hit a couple of tourist sites and, you know, see the stuff, experience the stuff. But the way I'm looking, I might end up just cruising. We've been going on a cruise every year, and mostly to the, well, I think always to the Caribbean. And that's been fun. 
But I kind of want to get out of the Caribbean and go somewhere else. But it's close. It's cheapish and uh, doesn't take too much time. Those more fun, longer cruises take a long time. 21 plus days on some of them to see all the sights. And, uh, my mom actually took a bus ride around the UK and had a blast, but it was on and off the bus every day at a certain time and then going to the hotel and crashing and then getting up and it the next day and it was a lot of bus riding and then hurry up you have two hours here at this location and then you got to go on the next 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 one go 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 and uh all that fun stuff i have been to colorado mostly in the airport but i have also been to boulder for a day or two i took language training there or cultural training it was not language training it was japanese culture training um, in Boulder for a day or three. We ate at an Indian place that was pretty good, I remember. They had, the kheer had the peppers in it, so it was not only the rice pudding, but it had the peppers and it was really cool. Yeah, see, that's a lot less, it's a lot more compressed time frame. I think it would have survived better had it been compressed like that rather than long flight after long flight after long flight. Oh, wait, in the airport. Actually, we went, went to a museum or two, but, you know, it was got to be back at the airport in a couple hours, so we got to do this and that. And my mom is one of those who does the whole, you must be there three hours early and have three changes of clothing on you and all of that traveler. So, yeah. Even though we had X amount of layer, we only could use part of it because part of it was getting out of the airport and getting somewhere, and the other part was being yeah, there yeah, time for our next flight. Let's run into that room see if there's some uh, extra guys. Yeah, good man. Yeah, one is just pretty nice as I remember it. It's a good airline to be on. Although some of the like super luxury on what was it, Singapore that I read an article on? Where you actually have your own room on the airplane, that would look would be pretty neat. And I actually got to fly um first class on my way back from Japan once which was amazing <laughs> oh man was that awesome that was so amazing me in first class nice big seat the stone bridge ahead. Ah, and I can't make that um, I think it was on Northwest at the time but oh man the difference up front was awesome. Nice, comfy, large seat that you can relax in. They brought you stuff. And, oh, it was awesome. 27. Dog, I don't know what you want. I took you out like two-ish hours ago. You should be fine for another hour or two. But you're looking at me. So I guess I would have to go ahead and take the dog out here shortly. Which is annoying because I really wanted to get in this group. Dog, can you hold it for a little bit? Yeah, I was upgraded. It, well, yeah, it was one of those missed flight things. So they, since I missed my flight, they upgraded me or something like that. Oh, it was amazing. I loved it. It was an oversold flight or whatever it was, some snafu that I got first class on. I normally wouldn't pay that because it's ridiculously expensive, but yeah. Upgraded to it, man, that was cool. And that's not even the, you know, that may, maybe it was just business class. I don't remember. I was up one level from where I normally was. I wasn't coach. And uh, 
Yeah. It was a lot nicer up there. Serve you some drinks. All that. Yep. It is nowhere near cheap. I thought I was on my personal. Yeah, I'm on my personal. Dog, what are you doing? Go lay down. We'll go out in a little bit, okay? Let me finish a couple more quests. I'm on a roll here. Yeah, airplane ticket prices are ridiculous to begin with. They're just all over the map for the same flight for no apparent reason. It stares coldly at you, calculating the threat you pose to its mission. So be it. So this is we're in the fifth hour of streaming now. Nobody else was streaming when I started this morning. Oh, they still got me, huh? I think that would be a much of a problem. Yeah, a good way to learn a new language is to play a game in that language. That's how I learned a lot of Japanese through Final Fantasy VII. There are quite a number of Japanese players on DDO as well. And one of them at least used to stream I haven't seen him streaming anything. He went over back to uh, Phoenix Star Online 2, and I haven't really seen him stream at all. I don't know if he changed schedule or isn't playing as much or what. He still tweets a lot, though. Oh, now the cat's staring at me. Great. So I think there's a dog staring at me. Well, he went back to the couch, so I think he's okay for a little bit. Cat starts staring as well.
little bit of lag there. Yeah. I'm one of those people who can't just learn a language. I have to be using it or something for something or I'm kind of hands-on and involved. I have to be hands-on and care about it to do it. So that's why when I lose interest in things, I really lose interest in them because I don't think I have, feel like I have anything invested anymore. So I just let it go. Always check for somebody getting the key. I don't have an antique, a big antique great X. It's still annoying that I haven't been able to get one yet. That's odd because I looked at my drop frame earlier and it was fine. I know Twitch has been kind of weird lately. Hoping it's it has to do with that. Let me look here in a second about my. Yeah, I still at very few drop frames. So it looks like from me to Twitch is okay. It's Twitch to you, which sadly has been the case all too often lately. I've had the same thing watching streams where nobody's saying anything about it being iffy, but it keeps stopping for me. I don't know why it does that. It's, what's really weird is that sometimes one computer does it and the other computer doesn't on the same stream at the same time. It's just odd. So unfortunately, I think that's just what, it's Twitch right now. If there's something I'd change in my setup or something to fix that I would. Maybe I should reboot my modem. I haven't rebooted my modem in a while. Sometimes that helps clear up weird issues. Yay, Wiz King's next. <laughs> he gets destroyed so fast. Wiz King, Wiz King. Nobody with the uh, D door this time, huh? Oh, there it is. All right, Iron Hands, thanks for the feedback. I appreciate knowing that at least it's working for somebody. Oh, 
Yeah, I've got the occasional lag still for no apparent reason. Uh, hope. Excuse me, I tried to mute. I don't know if I got it in time. Oh. End up flipping the mute button around. Oh. Do a quick repair and sell, and then get over to Wiz King. Everything's damaged just a little bit. Well, there's lag right there. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of spies, and depending on that takes, that might do it for the night or today. We'll see. Yeah. I don't understand quite why it's laggy before I hit sell. Once I hit sell, I understand, you know, transactions and stuff. It might lag a little bit, but before I even hit sell, especially just hitting sell gems, I forgot to even put my Halical hat on that time, which I should have done. Although I think I'm back up a bit. Yeah. stuff. Where will that put me? Probably most of the way. It won't be a big deal to get the rest of it. I'll be well within range at a couple quests. I'll finish it off. Maybe we'll finish off with the Druid's Chain, but probably not today. I'm thinking today. I won't be playing past three ish. I probably won't get on later either. Stupid crippling hit. Slowing me down. Whoa, okay. It's 
the crappy configuration that I don't like. Had the urge again, did you, dog? Please, puppy. Wait just a little bit longer. Please. Please, puppy. Out of my way. Oh. Freaking red damage alert. I have to kill some stuff. Well, since I'm killing stuff, I'll go ahead and open the chest. Why not? And look what that means. I forgot to do Night Shield again. I have a really bad habit of forgetting to do Night Shield. Haha, you can't knock me down, I got whirlwind ward. Push me away, but you can't knock me down. Ah, uh, lost the lottery. Actually got Rayum. Tumble plus 11. What a useful augment. Well, if y'all are going to sit there and wait, then I am not. There's no sense in three people sitting there when there's only only one person has to pick up the uh, phylactery. And I might be able to make it in time to actually get chests. Or at least walk out on my own. Hey, Wizen Man, how's it going? How are you doing today? Hope everything's going well. This impressive structure houses the tomb of the wizard king. Did no one grab the window? There we go. Someone got there. That's good. Good things aren't going horribly wrong. Just that would be bad.
feel like I'm running slowly, even though I should be running as fast as I can. <laughs> I played my rogue for a couple hours, I think, earlier. Um, I switched over my cleric briefly. And then back on here, just because I'm so close to cap, I just want to get cap and reincarnate. I haven't brought out, I don't think I brought out my barter sorcerer today yet. Oh, my ears are starting to hurt from the headphones. Yes, I know, puppy. Please wait. Please wait for me a little bit longer, okay? I would really appreciate it if you waited just a little bit longer for me. Go lay down. 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 How many ways do you want me to say it? There you go. That's better. Um, I've got eight past lives. Epic. One heroic life. This is first heroic life. So there's no heroic past lives. I, this is number nine because this will be the third set of power over life and death. There's me for getting Night Shield again. I don't know why I can't remember Night Shield, but I don't. Because I've got three double strikes, uh, three healings, and this will be my third power over life and death once I reincarnate here. Yes, finally getting close to that. Three more lives. in that sweet, sweet fourth twist of fate slot. So I can get something besides Cocoon for some for one of them. Uh, it should be good to have all that. Oh god, dog, your bone dropping on the floor is so loud. Um, okay. I'll get it then. Oh, that, you had to kill a guy. That's right. He was still killing the guy. Yep, it'll be fun to be completion of something, even if it's only epic. A lot less work than heroic completionist, I feel. But arguably more benefits. Yay, it's not Ryun. Oh, for love of all it is great, please stop kiting. Ugh. I understand kiting to survive, but man. Ouch, that knee. That's cool. Yeah, this is definitely going to be my epic completionist. I don't know what I'm really going to do with the other characters or this character after I get epic completionist, then I'm pretty sure my bard's going to stay at cap, um, or at least in epics. My sorcerer, I don't know. My rogue, which I just got into epic today, finally got level 20. Not sure what I'm going to do there. I'm thinking that's going to be my heroic reincarnator, but he's probably going to go iconic anyway. So it'll be a combination. Other than that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my characters.
I got a, a bunch of heroics that are just lounging around still. Maybe next time there's heroic XP bonus, I'll take one of them out. And try to get them up. As much as I want to do spies with this group, I think I'm going to have to take a break and walk the dog because he is staring outside or at me continuously. Hey, dog. Hey, dog. Hey, dog. I see you. We're going to go out in just a minute here. Let me get recall back to town, and then we'll go, okay? Yes. Yes, I see you. I see you dancing. The eyeballs are full. You're full up to your eyeballs. you got to go let it out. I understand. I understand. Yes. So, unfortunately, I'm going to take a short break here and walk the dog. Um, and I probably have about an hour left of playtime after that. So, uh, hang out if you would like to stick with me. Um, I will be back shortly. But uh, Dog is being urgently indi indicative that he needs to go out. So rather than clean up a mess later, I will take a break now. Cat, get out of my way. So be back in just a couple minutes. Uh, quick walk of the dog and I'll be back. Thanks again for watching.
There we go. All right. So, dog walk successful. Maybe not as successful as hoped. Looks like he wants to go back out, but at least I know it isn't because he's going to make a mess. And that's the important thing. Uh, I really want to get a fence put up so we can just let him out. Let him do his thing when he wants to. But that just hasn't happened yet. I didn't realize quite how expensive fences were. They are not cheap. Not cheap at all. Do you have end games in mind, wise men, for your three epic completionists? Because I really don't have an end game in mind for this character. This is just my main character and the one I play the most. And grinding through epic lives is sort of what you do. I don't really have a specific end game in mind. Kind of have a little bit of guidance, at least for my other characters, on what I want to do with them. But this one is kind of meh. <gasps> Oh, my dog. Alright, I gotta check out this out. All right, well, that was uh, another dog. <laughs> so, he was not happy with another dog in his territory, I guess. Usually doesn't do much of barking. Come lay down. Lay down. There you go. Yes, I know. There's another dog out there. I know. We probably traumatized you for life, didn't it? Yeah, you're traumatized for life because there was another dog. Cleric, evoker, healer, a tank, a rogue mechanic, and a fire spec source. That's cool. I'm going to buy new things here. Eric is done with the completions there. That's cool. So, I need to ask how you set your cleric up. Oh, I forgot to sell stuff. Crap. Acid. What is this? This is fire. This is Sonic. Cold. I hate how touchy these hook points are. I'm on the hook point. I'm on the hook point. I'm on the hook point. Look, I'm on the hook point. This is electric. And then back to acid. I 
There we go. So my cleric, I just don't know what to do with. I'm not doing enough damage. I'm not survivable enough. I'm just, it's not a fun character to play. Just all around, that's the main problem I have with it. It's just not fun to play. I don't know what I did, didn't do or didn't take or what that made it that way. Healer tree to get burst and aura, and then the rest in a light damage tree. Hmm. Let me bring my cleric up here in a minute. I just want to finish just a little bit more admin stuff. Dog, get down. Go lay down. You're being annoying. Go lay down. Good boy. That's it. That's where I want you. On the couch, relaxed. All right, so let's log off of here and go over to my cleric. And once again, I want to put up my self promo and remind people of the DDO stream. Stuff. I did fix the schedule now, so my schedule is should be in line with the official schedule. If you're curious who else streams on the DDO stream, when there you have it. Back to me a second. Other places to find me, and then whenever it loads, we'll be back in DDO. Okay, so you're saying healer to get the burst and the aura and then put the rest in light damage. No. This is a first life cleric. So in Radiant Servant, I've got the aura. I've got the burst. And I've got some other stuff. And then Divine Disciple, all I have is the core and the spell points. And then a War Priest, I've got the PRR, the hit points, and the Sacred Touch, along with three of the cores. And this is level 16, so I have some points to play with to get yet. And you're saying you went more in the Divine Disciple and got a bunch of this light stuff. So you went Nimbus of Light. light spell power and all that stuff spell critical light hmm. and then you get searing light and then you get holy smite huh I could see that being an interesting path to take, though. Hmm. Yeah, I just... I don't think I got anything out of this character. I mean, it's... Yes, I can... I can be a heal bot, basically. Woo, I can be a heal bot, right? I can't do much else with it. I've got 193 positive spell power, 67 light spell power at the moment. So I can heal, but that's about it. I don't do enough damage. I don't really 
contribute in any other meaningful way. I can throw a blade barrier down occasionally, but it's mostly just lights or uh, healing and uh, some buffs. Now, I play this mostly with, mostly with the SO, and then so they've got a barbarian, so that does most of the damage. But I would still like to be able to contribute something. <laughs> Mm, that's cool. So not only does they take damage, but they're blinded, so they have a hard time hitting you or your party members. Hmm. Alright, let's do this. So we want these Radiant Servant ones just because we want to get up to... Positive Energy Aura. We want Positive Energy Burge as well, so we have to spend more here to get that. Positive energy burst is acquired. We still need more points for that. So obviously wisdom here would be good. <laughs> so the blind are truly out of the action, which is nice, I'm guessing. And then that'll get me this and this. So I still need two more points spent. Nope, one more. There we go. So I got that out of there. And we're going to focus on Divine Disciple. Emissary of Darkness or Emissary of Light. We're saying Light. To get Nimbus of Light. Which is going to be a Light Ray, which will be helpful. Plus five light spell power. Universal force or fire. Universal there. What are the other cores here? Get sunbolt. So I want to get the cores to get those. What's this? Maximum spell points are always handy. Universal light. We can do light again there. Wisdom. Get this. Sunbolt. It just kills shadows and vampires. That's handy. See, now this is the stuff I didn't realize. That's handy to know. That should help a bit. So, up my spell power there. Up my spell power there. Get Searing Light as an SLA. More Wisdom. Another SLA. Maybe. Hmm. That's how it shows I can get it, but it's not letting me do anything. Am I lagged? Oh, there it goes. I was lagged. Holy smite. Oh, I didn't fully get that one up anyway. What else is up here? Do you see your spell power? Efficient magic magic. What's this one? Oh, I wanted light here, didn't I? I'm starting to run out of spell points. 
But if we're going to have all these light ones, we definitely want them to have criticals. Sure, thanks, wise man. At least gives me somewhere to point towards. So that's what I'm doing now, and see if this will help at all. Okay, so slightly respect my cleric. We'll see where that ends up. Uh, I'm going to have to put some stuff on my bar. Nimbus Flight. Don't have a house of energy order up there. I probably should put my burst up there too. So light, searing light, and holy smite at least. And then I've got Sunbolt. Uh, what is my sp light spell power now? So my light's 80, my positive is 183, so I'm still doing much more positive, which is fine. I still have got Cure Mass, Cure Light, Cure Serious Mass, Cure Light Mass, Heal, and Cure Critical. I'm going to have to get some sort of boost for my uh, light. need a weapon with light. What is that called? Let's look for a heavy mace. With... Is it Radiance? No? I need it to be like level 12 at least. I wonder if that stuff even shows up on heavy maces. There we go. Forgotten light. I wonder if I have a forgotten light somewhere. But a forgotten light would be awesome. On normal. A normal forgotten light. Sun's Fury. Does extra light damage, but that's not what I want. So forgotten light is what I need. Or something like it.
let's see is universal radiance. Yes, that's what I want. So I do want radiance. Radiance will give me 78, 84, 64 light, which is much better. Okay, I'm good there. Actually, now I think about it, I should have gone up here and looked at weapons. Just a lot harder to find stuff here. You can't just search for radiance. Healing Lore and Devotion, oh, but I already have those, I believe. At least Healing Lore. Or, I mean, Devotion. Oh, I'm not sure about Healing Lore. That's where the, the changes to the spell power with U25 will be handy, because you can actually see your critical chances then. Make it easier. Looking for Radiance. Resonance. Unfortunately, none of that is what I need. Okay. Well, I did check at least. And I think I'm going to be in better shape being able to use my light spells to some effect at least. It makes more sense to be ranged a bit anyway. Of course, my damage is going to be crap if I hit anything. But I'll look for a forgotten light. Let me look at my bank. Let's see. Bank is over this way, isn't it? No, bank is over this way. That's right. It's past Elminster. I've got a Holy Burst, Light Mace of Smiting, and a Vambrace of Inner Light, neither of which are the Forgotten Light item that I'm looking for. A little Light Rat Killer, all four Garrus Mace. None of those look good. Oh, I have some more tomes over here. 
I don't know why I have tomes on this character, but okay. Hey, look. <sighs> it's not withdrawing. I'm transferring from bank to bank. Stupid thing. All right, well, I think that's enough for that character. I just wanted to see if I get it more playable. I really didn't change much. I just redid some enhancements. So that's nice and quick change that might help me a bunch. I have to get the SO to convince to play on somebody other than our guild knight. That's why I didn't do a second VIP account, because they haven't been playing very much, just once a week. And if you're only playing once a week, there's really no reason to go VIP. Hello, welcome. I thought they fixed that scroll in the bag and then your zoom doesn't work thing, but I guess not. I feel like doing Shroud. I should because I need another completion, but. I, what I should not do is hit the wrong house on the teleporter. You know, I'm not even going to mess with anybody else. I'm just going to solo these. I'm going to solo spies twice and then probably be done for the day. I just want the XPs. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put that on and take this off. Just to swim faster. I can see I was running something purple or black lock because post effects are off. I shouldn't need to swim anymore. Did I really just do that? It's so annoying. Let's see, 
Titans back. Oh, the lag. Oh my gosh, the lag today. And that's why people weren't running spies as much earlier, because the lag is preventing them from doing so. Once in a while I have problems through here. Usually it's not a big deal. But I will plan on going the long way, and not the shortcut, and that should help. So just a pretty standard run through here, no, no big deal. Get through here, get these guys killed. Hop over and get the uh, other valves. Getting the extra XP from all the prisoners. It takes long to kill them all yourself. You don't get the 30% trap bonus if you're not a trapper. Plus that takes a lot longer to have to disable the traps. But you know, it's not really a bad solo run all around. Once you've done it enough to know what to expect and uh, have the gear and stats to make it work, it really is not a big deal to solo this quest. I think I have the other boots on, so I actually needed to do that. If I put the cove, not cove boot, three barrel cove boots on, then I don't need the uh, staff, but. Oh, I don't even care, guys. I'm just going to go right through. I don't even think I care about the 2% XP bonus for getting the, all the breakables. If I get the 8%, that'll be good enough. I don't need the 10%. It's really more about getting through here fast. I haven't been playing this character, so this is probably not ransacked. If I get into a groove where I'm playing this character every day and I run this twice a day, then obviously uh, I get ransacked fairly easily doing that. No shortcut this time. I still have to come back and fight him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let us do this thing. Usually about the time he's done, everybody else follows me up. Yep, here they come. Nice of you to find me.
I'm gonna go down and make sure I got these boxes broken, because I don't think I did. There we go. Box is out of the way. Again, just going for the 8% on this one. It is too much time to spend to jump over there to get the extra 2%. Just ignore everybody and walk right up. Kaylan deftly finds her way out of the sewer, pausing once to look back and wave her thanks. Only took two tries to get up there this time, that's not bad. Especially as if he's at spinning today. Different people have different ways to do this part. If you arrange magic base, it's a lot easier. Some people stay over that corner and do it. I like coming over here for a couple reasons. One is when I'm done, it's easy, and I'm right there where I need to be. Don't worry about other elements. The other thing is, if this happens, then usually that one of those jets will put him right over here. That's why I tend to be in this corner. Because he gets shoved right in my face, and it's a lot easier to kill him then. I could probably hit him there if I wait for another blast, though. Nope. Whoa, hello. Sometimes you get a skip where you go all the way up to the top there, and that's awesome when it happens. But it doesn't happen very often, so... Unfortunately... Got 133, 57% damage reduction. So now it's a matter of cleaning up with the last couple breakables here and getting to the end. You can ignore most of everything else. So even though I can't evade in heavy armor, I'm evading. Isn't that interesting? Dog, what are you doing? Guys are a pain when you're trying to do these valves, so sometimes it can be worth going ahead and killing them if you don't have abundant step or equivalent. I really want uh, some rocket boots, but they're not easy to get when nobody runs that particular content. Well, you jerk. The 
Yeah, just eight percent. If you hit those boxes before you finish, then you've gotten everything else. Then you'll get ten percent instead. But I already knew I was didn't have everything else, so it wasn't a big deal. So I'm at sixty-one five out of sixty-six. I'm gonna do this one more time. That should be me at what sixty-two two, roughly. Yeah, nobody's doing anything but Shroud. Actually, you know, if I do this fast enough, I could go just sit at Shroud. Let's see, 16. It's probably going to take about 10 more minutes. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I need another Shroud completion, and I'll wrap up the stream. It's been six and a half hours, which is a pretty good stream for today. Um, I'm starting to slow down anyway. Um, got other things I want to do today. And I'm not going to hit 28 today anyway, so I'll just run some stuff tomorrow and then spend some time reincarnating from my ninth life into my tenth life. Um, I don't need to do anything but just go to Meridia, really. And I'll sit there and get a completion. Dog, leave it. I want to see how many completions I have anyway. I'm coming around, D. Just stay put. We. Alright, so raid completions. I've got 37, so this will be the 38th shroud. Which means I only need two right, more to get my stone. Yes. Only watch the wall and keep us aware. D, you stay outside the door and let me out when I need out, please. And I've got 36 Vault of Nights. So those are my big raid numbers. Everything else is less than 10. Most of them are zeros or ones or twos or threes. I still have not run. It came from the desert. Lord of Blades, Vision Destruction, Hound of Zoriat. All right, so thank you for watching, everyone. Um, I appreciate it. Thanks for the follows and uh, subscriptions on YouTube and everything. Appreciate those as well. Just to wrap up once again, the DDO stream schedule, which I am on Tuesday nights at 5 p.m. Eastern, all times here, Eastern U.S. time. Tomorrow, Titan, Monday, guys? DAG, Tuesday, DDO Polish and myself, uh, Wednesday, Damsels, Cordovan and the Flang, Thursdays, Siren, New Game Plus, Friday's Titan, and maybe more to come. So again, everybody, thank you very much, and have a nice night, and I will see you next time. There it is, there it is. There it is.